Let's 
besser. server what the hell piston okay uh oh, 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 oh what finally different color boats um cool cool dried kelp block interesting packed ice it's like ice but it's finding those caves that just went on forever and ever and ever like back in the back when I used to play this a lot because when I used to get in caves and just you as soon as you think that you found like the end of it you find like three more different pathways it goes and then you go down one and that one has three different ways and you're just like oh my god this cave could actually be an end
just because I was bad to know what I was doing, but I also feel like fighting iron was a lot harder back in the day, too. Hey, look, we found some lava.
though. The water's deeper. It's actually stuck down there. It was always kind of the weak point where the game was water was just something that slowed you down and you had to get over. Okay, I could have sworn it was that treasure map number one when it was in there, but now it's two. Okay, so we are... Is that us? Are we the white dot? Gold, 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 gold. 
much. Okay, not what I would expect. Here we go. Wow, heart of the sea. What the heck does that do? Potion of water breathing. Dang, they're hooking me up right now. Heart of the sea, huh? Alright, we don't need seagrass. I assume it's you. of living. 
just that square little room, that's it. That is correct. Okay. Well, let's dig down a little bit, shall we? Hey, look, some gold. if we could dig straight down into lava at this point. Because we've got um, lava following us around. Oh my god. I mean, not lava, we got water following us around. Okay, let's be careful.
Hey guys, this is your captain speaking, soft speaking, and it's time for part three to our Minecraft adventure. Um, today we have a couple simple goals. Uh, last time, uh, previously on Minecraft adventure, okay, now the hell, here we go, uh, the goal was to get a diamond pickaxe and obsidian.
nice to search for, like just find a cave. And then the objective was to find diamonds so that we could take obsidian. Um, and honestly, all those steps went suspiciously well. There have been times where I've searched hours for diamonds and just had no luck. But literally, we just kind of like happened upon it. And I was like, okay, good, because I didn't want this video to be two hours long anyway. Um, and then obsidian didn't take too long to find either, so. Okay, there's a little fork made in the first video. Let's actually go up there. We might just add on to our existing fort uh, that we made in the first episode instead of making a new one. I actually was not sure we were going to be able to find it again, so. Um, also, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was a very simple square place, and I don't want it to be my long-term home. Maybe episode four will be about uh, making our home a true man cave. But today we're just going to the Minecraft equivalent of hell. Isn't that relaxing? The nether. I loved when this game was brand new and, well not brand new, but like before really looked anything up online where it was still all just me figuring stuff out and a friend had told me like oh yeah you gotta like you don't you don't know about the nether portal like yeah you gotta put a bunch of obsidian together and uh then it makes a portal you know you use the flint and steel and you walk through it and i didn't really describe what the nether was gonna be so i was like all right and put the obsidian together lit it and then i was like holy crap you actually go to a different dimension like you actually go to a completely different like totally uh whack location uh, why do i have two saddles i don't care uh, let's make another i never have wood when i need it okay um yeah but the nether was it kind of blew my mind when i first went there expecting to see what I saw. Okay, let's just put materials in here. Let's put everything away so we can kind of start fresh. Let's take this out. Take the diamonds out. Alright. Okay, so now let's take this out. And actually someone told me you don't need 14, you actually need well, you can make it an extra layer higher, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so we need flint and steel. Oh, so we need flint. Shoot. Okay, that's actually step one of this quest is getting flint. I forgot about that part. So let's go. Let's go on a little hunt for flint then, shall we? We're going to go look for a little cave of sorts to find uh, gravel in. I've actually seen a fair amount of little caves, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, down the way we go, we'll go not too far from home so we don't get 
stairs. How about that? Would be would be nice. To ourselves. No grass. Not allowed. All right, cool. Uh, so let's put. I'm not sure what the goal is for the nether at this point. Um, I guess we're on peaceful, so it's really not that spooky. Okay, what's this? Nether quartz. Okay, our objective is to get nether quartz. This is kind of a different... Okay, there's an opening over there. I do like collecting just the nether, um, nether rack. That was called nether rack. Yeah. Uh, because you can light it on fire infinitely, which is an oddly fun function. See, I don't like the nether when it's, when it puts you way up high like this. It makes it a huge pain to get down. I mean, I don't know why exactly I want to go down. It just feels like I'm looking down on all the good stuff. But we might have found a way. Alright, we're gonna dig through here, being careful not to fall to our death. Oh shoot. Never mind, boys. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, let's get some of this. Glowstone. I want some soul sand. There's some right there. Okay, 
chest has like two more things of horse armor in it. Okay, so we gotta retrace our steps, but I have no idea where I am. Okay, isn't that where we just were? My stupid antenna is going in a circle. Let's go this way. Whew, that actually was a lot riskier of a jump than I feel like we deserved. Um, I think we came from, oh my god, is that, that's where we went across, right? Which means that the portal's like straight above us right now. We just pretty much gotta go that way. Soul sand, we got glow dust, we got my old gel, I got that. We got horse armor for days. Too bad, we don't have any horses. And, whew, honey, I'm home. It's good to be organized, so let's put.
switch there to there, just so I can see it. I think that would look really cool. I don't know how often I'll actually go over there, but um, I like the idea of a bridge from here to there. It's a very huge, that's a very long project, but um, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, mission accomplished. Let's add a little bit to our fort before we go. Let's see, where can we add on? So I'm thinking we'll, we'll uh, next episode will be, uh, we've been going to the theme of having like two or three goals for each video. And I think next one will be um, kind of upgrade our home as it make it cooler. Because our home's pretty trash right now. Um, and then, uh, what was I saying earlier? What else we would do? some more goals for next time. If you have any goals that you want me to kind of go for for next video, um, I still have a lot of stuff I want to do in this world, but if you guys have anything specific, oh, that makes three doors each. Wow. Alrighty. So we will work on our home next time. We will do some stuff with the stuff we've gathered from the nether. next time so we have all this armor lying around but anyway thank you guys for watching if you enjoy this series let me know because i'm enjoying the series um keep organized i need a yeah i need more storage space too for next time um anyway thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video. This is your captain, signing off.
So let's put the bed in this room. Right. You know what? I think that bed should be in this room, actually. Let's put it here. You know what? Let's put it like this. You know what? Let's put it. chest I was talking about. Actually. Um, is that all you need? Yeah. Well, let's put it in this room. Let's put it in the corner. And we'll put food in there. How about that? Consumables. Oops. What, you can eat that? Freaking tree chopping crazy. 
I don't know, there's a simple pleasure in just getting every piece of everything you need manually. It doesn't take, it doesn't take the right amount of time. Like, it's not like, oh, you wanted to build a house, well, it's going to take you like three hours, and then you're going to, you know, be just tired of the grind by the time you get there. But it also isn't like, oh, here's a thousand wood in five seconds, and therefore there's no pleasure in the work that you put in because you didn't put any work in. There's just the fine line of like, hey, you actually took some time, you went out, you gathered the supplies, and now you, piece by piece, get to make something. And I think that is a large reason why this game got popular and why I liked it and still like it is because it just, the best word you can use to describe this game is satisfying. Like this game is just very pleasant. It's very difficult to have a bad time playing Minecraft. It's it's easy to like get burnt out on it. Um, just whoops. It's easy to just get burnt out on like okay, I think I'm done for the day. Like I've done everything I wanted to do. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm good. Like I can get that kind of fatigue, but at, at the worst. tree here we go not too bad okay now how do we get home there's some pumpkins down there a little wolf boy on the side of a cliff okay I'm kind of turned around but I think the big open like ravine area is this way and our home should be somewhat because we pretty much cleared off the whole mountaintop. Um, I'm going to say it's over there. Yeah. Look at the sheep over there. Okay. We're going to go around. Okay, we're on our way. Little, little sheep boys just having a panic attack down there. Cool. Well, would you look at that? How convenient. Actually, we don't even need that. Maximum, just radical amounts of planks. Can I just hold it down? Okay. Whew, look at all that. Look at those planks. This is going to be truly something else. scare me the cow coming into frame right there. Holy moly. Okay. So let's go. We're not going to need anything else but that. And that. Okay. So we've got a bajillion wood and now the sun is Okay, for 
consistency. I'm going to actually get rid of this. Yeah, I think that's the right call. No mix. Careful now. Whoa, how lucky did I just get stepping on the one block? <laughs> okay. Um, I'll probably fence it. around and make it cooler but right now we have a specific goal and we're gonna go and we're just gonna do this thing and this will be a good way to under like to get a account for how many we're actually gonna need so we used what four by six we used 24 back there which means we had 40 in this stack so, when this stack runs out, we'll have used 40. And then when this stack runs out, we'll have used 104. And I'm hoping that that 104 gets us there. Meaning if we make this 4 wide, it'll cost us about 416. Uh, which is not that many. Um, that's only that's less than half of our total supply. And then we can use the other 5 to 600. tempting to keep it just too wide like that but it looks cheap you know anyone could have made a too wide bridge I don't know should we keep it too wide and just not make it too extreme I, you know I think that's what we're gonna do Let's go. Yeah, this is a good spot. Um, excuse me, Mr. Squid. That's right. I know that physics of Minecraft say that the bridge can stay up on its own, but not the physics of Captain. I need things to be structurally sound. I mean, come on, guys. There might be kids watching, and we want them to know how important safety where I'm standing. Oh, that's actually easy. Am I stupid? Boom, boom. Okay. Let's actually overachieve a little bit and dive. Okay, boom, boom. Okay. How does that look? Cheesy. Then right about here is where we're going to do the next one. Then I want to do three total. So right about here is probably the middle, right there. So let's go. And upwards we go. Da, 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 da. One, two, three. And then one, two. Come on. Possibly forget that one. Boom, boom. 
made sure we have exactly the amount, same amount of blocks between uh, legs. So it's 32 blocks from this one to this one. So I counted 32 out. And this is 32 right here. So up we go. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Um, we're taking a chance, boys. Oh my goodness, how far? Yeah, I'm a risk taker. What of it? Okay. So honestly, we should have probably not jumped at all. No need to make things more complicated. Okay. So let's make... Yeah, let's make a crafting table. And let's make... Oh, right, yeah, that's right. Because we are always prepared for anything. Let's make some freaking stairs. And honestly, I'll probably put ladders up. Oh, stairs. How high are you? Okay, that was my bad. No, that's not how stairs work. Why is that even? upside down stair. Probably gonna put ladders up on the side of the like legs of the bridge, at least one of them. So that when I'm down there, it's a better way to get up. It's my kind of long-term thing I want to avoid is having to climb up this mountain every time I want to go anywhere. Whereas now I can go out on adventures, take my bridge, get somewhere new, and then you know do whatever I want and end up down there and actually get up from anywhere. General area, I know to just go to my massive bridge, which I can probably pretty easily see. So, um, yeah, it's good to have long term plans. Okay, I am pretty content with the bridge. We're going to, um, we're gonna do the ladder thing. say that many. And dear God, if that's not enough, then what have I done? Um, number, there we go. Alright. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Alright, now it's safe.
it's just like uh, like Fortnite or games. I guess it's just Fortnite's one I can think of where you have a specific way that you organize your inventory, like your actual, like in Fortnite, you only can have five items, right? So I always have SMG, shotgun, assault rifle, sniper, and then meds. And so this game I've always had, without really even thinking about it, but I've always had sword, pickaxe, torch, axe, just shovel. Because I figure if you're mining in a cave, what do you want to have most quick access to? Torch, or, or if you're getting attacked, switch to your sword. Um, if it's dark, switch to torch. If you're getting attacked, switch to sword. And then, same thing for here, if you're out chopping trees or whatever, you're going to need torches. Um, if it's dark, I don't know, I guess. Or, you know, these are kind of my uh, terrain manipulating tools right here, where I'm chopping trees and then I'll be digging wood. Or, uh, I'm chopping trees, then I'll be digging dirt or whatever. So, I don't know, this has always just made sense to me. Sometimes I'll go more like this, so that uh, I'm closer to my sword in the event of an attack. Switch. This isn't a PvP game. It doesn't matter. It's just for the lols. But anyway, the sun is rising. We will watch it from our bridge and we will go hunt ourselves a horse in our newly attained lands. What a beautiful day. say we should go down. Frick. Okay. 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 I need to find kind of an open area of just land. I know we saw the sheep on the edge of the cliff earlier, but I think horses are known to be a little bit smarter. He says, talking about animals in this game as if they were real. Well, there's kind of a clearing over there. But also, I think there's one up here. And for those of you at home being like, hey man, you didn't bring a saddle. I brought a saddle. Don't worry. Um, Mr. Cow, what are you doing? You know you've got high blood pressure. because I'm like hoping it's not too easy where it's like oh, there's a horse okay the big video's over thanks for being here but if it takes longer than a few minutes I'm gonna start getting worried okay 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 we will go up top of the mountain we will look around okay I was like what kind of animal is that is that a wolf with a chicken for a butt the answer is yes like the chicken is just not moving at all. What is he thinking about? He's like his whole life is flashing before his eyes. Hey, buddy, you okay? You don't want to talk about it? All right, I respect that. Okay, um, we got Wolfie Boy. The sheep just chilling. Definitely should have brought the sheep in, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Hey, is that an alpaca or a horse? That's a horse. And a blind thing, this place is just hopping with animals. Get it hopping. Okay, we, we've been through this, man. Frick. This horse is trying to kill me. The horse is actually trying to kill me. He's a maniac. Look, man. I refuse to be murdered by a horse. Saddle. That's what it's up. Equip. Saddle. Equip. Dope. Horse armor. Yeah, alright. Alright, we did it. Now, how the heck do we get home from here? I never keep track, man. I never keep track. Okay, well, there's our obnoxious bridge. 
much have to find a series of single blocks that will magically get us all the way up. This is truly a wonder. Okay, we're actually making good progress, I think. You thought we were only going to build one bridge in this video. No, I had to build a bridge for my horse. Okay, now what's the problem? I had given you everything, and yet you still complain. Okay, okay, let's not mess this up. Oh, we're on three now, boys. We did it. We did it. We built the bridge. We upgraded our home. And honestly, the most tedious, horrible part of all of it was the horse part. I did not expect. Okay, back it up, dude. The freaking horse to be the hard part. It was like taming a wild animal. I probably if you're watching this, I probably cut a lot of the video of me just trying to get the horse back because that took forever trying to get through an amplified world where I could only move up one block at a time. Okay, I get that you're excited to be home, but uh, get inside. Get inside. You're grounded. You don't get to look out the windows because the windows are windows. All right, guys. Wolf. 
cows for leather and meat in the future on, but leather with the objective of making me uh, some leather armor. Here's the wood bridge I had to make last time to get my horse across this chasm here. Uh, okay, stay focused. Um, so, yep, let's do it. I turned my gamma up by another 20% because every time I do this, people are like, hey, it's too dark. Every episode I turn it up a little bit more, usually by like 10%, but this time I just went from 60% to 80%, so hopefully the, hopefully that's better for you guys. It is important to be able to see what is happening. Hey partner, you're not part of our goals here, but uh, I'm going to kill you anyway. Alright. Oh, uh, I should have said this at the very beginning of the video, but uh, important news announcement series and that is I'm going to be doing a new episode every single week now every Monday we're going to have Minecraft Monday so instead of me just kind of uploading them sporadically like there was a time where it was like almost a month between episodes then it was like two weeks and it was like a week and a half and then it was two weeks again um, I'm just going to do it every week on Monday so you always know when and it's more often series and I really like it too so um, Monday Minecraft Monday so that's exciting also in other news am I sunburned or am I tan you decide why are these wolves out man um, I just got back from Florida um, and the Bahamas last episode when I was last episode when I was looking for horses or a horse rather I kept finding uh, wolves like there was wolves everywhere and I was like I'll meet you guys next episode but not right now please don't go anywhere and where are they now hey chicken what are you doing I always like a chicken they just look, they look like they've got a lot going on, you know? Like they look like they're going through something. Alright, well, technically we can do our objectives a little out of order if we have to, but also we gotta make sure we don't go too far or we can't find our way home because that is a big threat as well. for days, just not the ones we want. Typical. This way it looks promising. And in my head, I'm kind of still... I like to think I'm keeping track of which way I'm going. 
that's good news. Honestly, I should just be collecting wood as I do this too, because we're going to need a lot of wood for uh, our watchtower. But I gotta stay focused on the hunt. chicken. Or was it a flower? I'm losing my mind. Okay, turns out the hunt has been going on for longer than I realized, and my mind is gone. It's always funny to me which steps to these videos becomes the more complicated one, more time-consuming one. Because anything that's based on just randomization, like, that's just how it's going to be. But episode one, I think it was, <clears throat> one of the objectives was to get enough um, diamonds for a diamond pickaxe uh, and obsidian.
us, we still have a bunch of wood left over from uh, the episode where we built the bridge, which was last episode, wasn't it? So I think we're going to make the watchtower. Speed this up a little bit with some. Oops. oops. Don't light yourself on fire now, shall we? Can you uh, hurry up a little? This is fun, right, guys? Okay. You got boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Six. Two, three, four, five. Let's make this tall enough to be like a watchtower, you know? I want it to be useful. 
watchtowers are super easy to make. I could make a couple, like right here. That could be one there, and that could be one there, and one like back there to kind of get like a, a four corners thing going on around our main base. Eventually we'll have to upgrade our main base, but I don't want to spend all these episodes just building because I feel like that's the least interesting thing to watch. I usually edit that pretty, pretty uh, intensively so you don't just sit around Hey guys, this is your captain speaking. Soft speaking, we're back with Minecraft episode 6.
six. Uh, welcome to Minecraft Monday. So we're now doing these every week on Monday. So this is the first episode happening on a Monday, and then we'll be one next Monday, and so on and so forth. So in our last episode, our three objectives were um, hunt down a team, a wolf. There you are, buddy. Um, and second objective was build a watchtower, which probably still needs a little work, but it's functional. Last week. Um, this week, our three objectives are uh, a little, a little more interesting. I would say um, the long-term goal between this episode and next episode is to turn this lower area into kind of a farm, and we're going to do most of that this episode. So, objective number one in this episode is basically make kind of a tunnel from where we are now. going to be practical. 
gonna be our floor. space. episode I definitely want to make a compass. I would have said I would do it this episode, but I just used my iron up. I know I have redstone already. I just don't have any iron now, so next time. Luckily this episode we're not um, going anywhere, so we're going to go hunt animals, but hopefully we don't have to go very far. Um, 
Yeah, we need a couple things. A clock, a map, a compass. Basic stuff. But, um, let's make some torches. We're not going to get fancy on it. So we should put some stairs there. We're not barbarians. Um, crafting table. Oops. Okay. Um, stairs, are you drunk? all grew back in. Our farm area is looking good. Our tunnel is convenient and we are ready to go on and build the fences and uh, make the farm look nice and then go find some animals for it. Actually, I'm going to do this really quick. I 
was going to say, I kind of like the idea of, like, making it more of a cave. Like, having this kind of roof go out a little further, shoot out from everything, but, I don't know, I think right now it's, it's subtle enough to where it's mostly just cool. Alright, okay, perfect, that looks good to me. Now we gotta find animals for our farm. You can't have a farm without farm animals, am I right? So we're gonna go lure some uh, innocent animals and do a life of servitude. Um, I guess that would all be in. Wait, you sir are in the wrong chest. Okay, so we need seeds, wheat, carrots. That's it. there. Your new home, man, you're gonna love it. It's a big cage, 
basically. Come on, buddies, you're almost there. and everything up, man. Now they're all coming back. Okay. We're so close. You're new. I'm going to you. All right. You're so close.
nice. Alright, now we gotta go find some chickens. The funny thing is we don't really need two of each. The only animal that is really that useful is sheep. Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do with wool. I mean, I guess chickens for, um, feathers, but... Oh, hey. Oh, dude, we're getting lucky-ducky. Are you buddies? Are you guys friends? Wait, can you even cage them? Because they can fly, right? Well, they just fly over the fence. Am I being stupid? Or can they actually fly? More than like a block. Oh, doesn't matter to me. We got them in the cage. That's all that matters. Alright, I gotta get out of here, dude. You stay. I see a wolf just chilling on the edge of the cliff. I still do want to get more wolves. Because we only got one in our teaming wolves objective. I wanted to get like two or three at least, but uh, we'll have to get more bones for that, which means turning on uh, monsters, which is a bad time in an ASMR video, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. That was the three objectives. We made our vertical tunnel down to the ground. Um, we made our farm and we hunted the animals for it. Let's use our last iron to make an iron shovel because we're almost... Our 
shovel's about to break. Oh, I've got an iron axe right here in my inventory for the last episode. Stupid. Okay, well, we are very ready to chop a lot of wood then. Uh, what are we doing? Last episode.
even. 
Also, I could just, eh, I was going to say I could just go up the water there, but we got to take the boat to the dock because we can't.
I'd like to add uh, like carpet or whatever to floors. But not this day. This day we're just I was gonna just take this wall out to make this room bigger already, but I almost like this kind of uh, double hallway thing. I think I'm gonna just take this door out because it makes no sense. Um, okay, yeah, I kind of like that. We're just gonna push this wall out then.
looks nice, but it's off center. This is good because this will probably give us enough wood to finish it. Okay.
good to me. Um, if we have sand on us, we have seven sand. Let's go down to the beach. Actually, chest. I might just put a big chest in a big chest and we'll make those like our valuables or something um, at some point down the line. So we're going to make an enchanting table 
also step one is kind of gather supplies to make that we don't have uh, paper to make a book we don't have books and we shouldn't I don't think we have any more obsidian yeah so we need to go find four more obsidian so step one is gather supplies for basically steps two and three um, step so step two being a jam and table and step three is going to be um, last episode we talked about making a lighthouse on this mountain here so we're going to kind of cut the top off make a lighthouse I'm not sure I'm going to put it on the mountain yet I'll just see what, how it looks I might just put it on the ground but I know I'm going to put a something out there so we have a collecting objective a crafting objective and a building objective so a pretty well rounded episode today so let's just get into it uh, we're going to go out and hunt for some paper and some obsidian, which means we're going to need trusty, trusty, I almost was going to forget to bring this, can you imagine? Alright, we'll start with the obvious, um, let's go find, let's go hunting for some paper, let me find some paper out in the wild, so we need to find, uh, reeds, um, so we're going to go to our dock and take a boat, because they're usually growing on the side of the water. Hey guys, don't worry, you might have a scene next episode. What a wonderful creation. Oh look, I can see them right there. I kind of want to grab extra paper though because um, with the enchanting table you want to surround it with bookcases because it makes your enchanting table stronger and you can enchant things harder. So I'm thinking we will just take enough. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna go get more. Let's wait. Oh, it's sugar canes. Wasn't it called weeds at some point or am I just confused? if we could get like a lot but I'll settle for whatever we can get okay what is it oh, yeah, it should be more than okay eight all right well that's enough but let's do like I don't know let's go around a little bit more just in case there's any more around the river bend because honestly that was too easy Also, one of these days I want to go hunt down more wolves too, because there was an episode we tried to hunt, we tried to uh, tame multiple, and it ended up costing like seven bones to tame one, which was like all the bones we had, so that was a waste. I've been to this shipwreck, haven't I? Right? Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I think I did, because there was an episode where I went to like a bunch of them, but just in case. Okay, yeah, I did. Alright, missed it about. Alright, well now we're getting out into like the open sea, which is not what I want to do. Might want to turn around before we get lost. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be any more out here. So I believe it's uh, basically a one-to-one -one ratio for sugar cane to paper. So you, it takes three and you get to craft three pieces of paper. And it's only three pieces of paper to make a book. So this is potentially two books with change. So, um, but you need like what? A lot more. You need like three books for a bookcase or something. I don't know. But we'll be able to craft the enchanting table this much paper, we just need obsidian now. Get out of there. There's a cave right there. I don't know if we've been in there yet. We've definitely been in that cave. 
should we just go? No, let's let's put this now. Let's take it from this. Um, I was gonna say, should we go back up or should we just continue on? Right? Well, in that case, why don't we park a boat? I know why. We wanted to drive a different boat this time. Um, we can go. Is that a cave right there? The little opening. It's pretty unwise to just go hunting for obsidian like I'm just going to happen upon it. But it's much more common to find lava, and then you can just make your own obsidian by dumping water on it. So um, I know that we have plenty of iron to make uh, a bucket, so let's go do that really quick. Okay. One, two, three. You know what? three tries for something that should only take one, but uh, we're going to plan ahead for once. Oh, it's raining. All right. Should we take that boat again, or should we take a new boat? Uh, let's take you. start like lighting up if there's 
just like light blocks away. Like you shouldn't be able to see the light, but sometimes you can. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Now to be tactical about this. Oh wow, we found the big area. Alright. Okay, so let's... Someone suggested making, like, actually multiple suggested making, like, stairs from here, from the dock up to, like, the home. Um, and I wasn't really sure what that meant, but then I was like, oh, wait, yeah, that this is going from there to here. Is that really inconvenient? This should, these stairs should just, like, go down to, like, there, and there should be just a path or something. Or even just stairs from here. So we just walk from there to here, and then these just stairs down. That, that would make that better. You know, we're not barbarians. We're not going to hop up a bunch of uh, dirt blocks every time we want to go anywhere. We're not cavemen. We have technology. Okay. Now here we are. Going to make some sugar real quick. Okay, I actually don't remember. Oh, there it is. Paper, yay.
just about to give up looking. We were just talking about like, eh, let's not bother with acacia trees and like, there they were just chilling on the top of the hill. It's like they knew. Alright, we'll just go until this axe breaks and then let's come back. Okay, axe broke. That is
this mountain was going to be. I mean, I definitely saw it. I just didn't really realize that I had to destroy each block individually. You guys better like this lighthouse. I almost should just put him on top of the mountain, but it just seems like there's no sense to have a lighthouse that high, you know, for the purpose of, I don't know, might as well just be another watchtower at that point if it was going to be way up there. We're going for coolness, even if it is super not practical. Okay, we did it. Look at this. Oh, look at this. We just did. See, that doesn't even look like we did that much, but that took forever. You're welcome for fast forwarding it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's begin our project. So let's you figure, let's go kind of this edge. Yeah, because we got this corner to this corner. Which puts us about here. Which Honestly, is not wide enough for what I want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. That's way too small to start with, you know. So let's go here. Oh, we don't have an axe for this, do we? Well, luckily, we have the technology to make one. So let's go eight. I don't know. I actually would like to go nine. No, we can't do that. Maybe put one five. No. All right. Yeah, that, that'll be fine, I guess. Cause then we'll go up. That'll be six. That'll be. Actually, that'll be, that'll be fine. That'll be actually be good. Uh, sorry, talking to myself. I shouldn't blame myself. So we're going to start off with a square. I think I will actually round the edges past the first floor. So we're going to go like this. You know, as round as something can be in Minecraft. In a world of squares. So let's go up by three, and then we'll bring the uh, acacia into this. Okay. Now what I'm trying to decide is do I want to just do a layer of acacia and just do it like rings all the way up, or do I want to kind of spiral it, you know? And I think I want to spiral it. Which actually means I probably should start the spiral at the beginning, right? That, that makes sense. So let's start it here. It's funny because I was thinking this as I was doing this, but I just, I don't know, didn't think it hard enough to actually do it, I guess. Okay, so now we want to go like this. scroll the wrong way. Hang on, two, three, four, five, six. And then you cast it up here. Okay, well now it's easy. Now we just keep ourselves consistent. layer of this. So now we'll go, well, hold on, we got one more. We gotta finish this layer first. Slow down, Captain. Okay, so now we're gonna go, let's start with this one so we don't forget it, um, like this. 
sentences.
I will see you guys next week. And, uh, yeah. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for our goals for next week. And, uh, thank you for watching. This is your captain signing out. Floor and then clearing out this layer. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that, and then we can. 
make a rose of plants up here, and then we can make, you know, some stairs that go down, and uh, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and clear this out with my iron shovel of unbreaking. I already had that flashback in the last episode where I cleared out that entire mountain. Also, thanks to everyone that's been cool about, like, nicely telling me stuff that I, like, miss or am just kind of dumb about. Like, last episode, I was, uh, we were looking for sugar cane, and I, you know, if you, if you harvest sugar cane and you don't take the bottom one, um, because they come in, like, stacks of two or three, if you just take the top ones off, the rest of, and you leave the bottom one, it'll grow up more, right? And that's something that, like, I know, but I just really was not thinking about, so I ended up all video um, taking the whole stacks of sugar cane. And so I got a lot of comments being like, hey, you know, you can you can uh, plant your sugar cane or leave the bottom one so you have infinite sugar cane. Because we're long term, maybe next episode, depending on how uh, our farm turns out and how long it takes to for my sugar cane. So I just realized I just chopped all those leaves with my axe, so that was another thing people are going to be mad about, but... Okay, so let's kind of square this off a little bit better. We're not going to need all this space. I'm not planning on having like a colossally huge wheat farm. Like We only need enough for one dude, you know, we're going to make some for our... Uh, so we can make bread and for uh, animal breeding down the line, but we don't really need that much right now. So we're gonna have, we're gonna just look at how many seeds we have. I don't remember exactly how many we have. Okay, so this is a good space. Um, let's go ahead and fence it off. So we want, actually, let's check how much seeds we have. That's gonna be a huge determining factor about how much we actually. So we've got 14 sugar cane, and we've got apparently only nine. Oh, we got. Uh, so we've got nine seeds and 16 sugar cane. So we're gonna go and chop some more grass, cause no way are we gonna do with only nine seeds. enough to get any seeds. Okay, there's more seeds. Yeah, buddy. Okay, 20. Okay, help me visualize here. If we have water, we have one, two, three, seeds for our wheat. And then we'll have to do less for um, sugar cane because it grows a little bit differently. It has different water needs. Um, I put the seed to this world in the pinned comment and in the description last time. I still had a lot of people asking for it and I was like, guys, it's right there. But um, I will do the same thing again. I'll put it in the description and I'll put it uh, in the pinned comment. So a lot of people really like this seed for this world that I'm on, and uh, or just want to play kind of along, because you know I like the idea that someone else could potentially go to the same exact spot and make their own version of this from the same hill. You know, that's kind of cool. Um, oh no, now we've got 25 seeds. Okay, so are we? 
farm is going to be a square, but our um, sugarcane is going to be kind of like lines because of how they grow. So we'll put the sugarcane in the skinnier part, and we'll put uh, the wheat over here when it's a little wider. So let's say. first. Water. Um, what did I say? So we don't really need a fence at all, but for looks we will. saplings falling from the sky. Okay, so now for the sugar cane. Um, I guess we're kind of doing step one and two at the same time, where we're making the farms and we're planting them immediately. Uh, so I guess step two will mostly just be the massive tree planting that we're going to do. Okay, let's clear this out a teensy bit. So we need, to, we need it to be five wide, right? We could go seven wide because we want to be able to walk around, but that's really not important. Okay, so we'll go middle will be in here, row of water. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Room for like four episodes. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna keep this area clear because reasons, you know, future reasons of uh, future farms, that kind of stuff. So, but we've largely kind of cleared out all these trees from previous projects.
realize they don't grow in nighttime. Um, okay, let's we'll start the stairs like right here. Let's go here.
like cobblestone pathways and it's like they don't have any function other than look but I think there's a few spots I want to do little walkways so it won't take very long so we'll do that real quick we have a bunch of cobblestone let's take like that much um, stairs yeah we'll put them back in there um, So you walk out. I know it 
Skiller, but because they're not all quite done yet, so we're going to give them a little more time, we're going to end the episode here, so that next episode we can harvest. As usual, uh, feel free to comment below what you want me to do in the next episode. Pretty much all the goals, uh, when I'm about to film, I go and look at the comments from the last couple videos to try to like see what most people want me to do. So that's usually where the ideas for each of the goals come from. So uh, let's go out on our bridge and get a view of what we've done. So farm up there, talk our stairs and our pathway. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks real nice. Cool. Alright, there we go. World is coming together. Looking real good. Can't wait to harvest and mix paper and see how many bookshelves we can make next episode. And uh, start working on working our way towards enchanting stuff better. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Minecraft Monday every week. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this is your captain signing off. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. It's your captain speaking. So, speaking, and it's Minecraft Monday. Episode 10. Can you believe it? This is our 10th episode. Last week, we did just some kind of around area upgrades we made an enchantment table we made some kind of accessibility ramps and stairs and pathways and we did uh, these farms so uh, we're going to start this episode off with farming and what has grown since then because the long term goal is to uh, procure small farms. I figured we could have gone bigger, but I don't want it to take forever to harvest every episode, because we're probably going to do this at the beginning of all the episodes now. But that took me about 10 seconds, so that's not going to be a problem. It's uh, 30 more sugar cane, um, 23 wheat, and we're looking pretty good. So, uh, today's objectives, as usual, we have three objectives, although the objectives are starting to become more of like of smaller objectives because it's just three you can't always do three big things most you gotta do a lot of small things and that should just count as one objective so the categories today are we're gonna do some like practical upgrades and fixes for our place uh, we're gonna make a balcony so we can get some outside view I can't decide if I want to do a balcony that juts outwards or if I just want to kind of take out this front and make this into kind of like a, an open patio so we're gonna do that make this upstairs a little better. We're going to make a well pretty quick, just a well for a uh, two by two of water, so we have infinite water. I'll probably put that up here. Um, just, and we'll make it look nice, simple but nice. We're going to put pressure plates for the doors, the ones that we can at least. And yeah, that's going to, all of that, oh, we're going to put some, like, just lights around. So those are all super small things. So that's all going to be Step one, or objective one, is just going to be kind of fix a couple things, adjust a couple things, just make things look nice. Objective one. Okay, objective two is going to be, oh, actually, um, objective two is the balcony, and we're going to make a stable. And we're going to make whatever bookshelves we can. So, the first one's like practical fixes and stuff. Second one is building a stable, a balcony, bookshelves. And then objective three is we're going to go do some spelunking see if we can find some caves to try to get some more diamonds uh, because we haven't actually done any cave diving in a while so we're going to go out on a little cave adventure today so those are our three objectives gonna kind of beef up this place expand a little bit and then we're going to go out okay so first things first let's grab what we need um let's grab oh we need to do some fences stuff so let's just grab 
stack of wood. Um, we need our buckets. Also, I want to do some stuff with the lantern, so let's make some more. Um, I always forget where it is. There it is. It's somewhere you wouldn't expect it. So let's do this. So I'll need water, we'll get that later. Um, okay, looks good. Now we go down below for a couple little things. Oh, now the floors can open the door. That's good re good, uh, good thing we're getting him out of here today. So let's go down. I uh, intend to very soon be taking it off of Peaceful. I feel like we've, we've uh, made our world look kind of nice and uh, done a lot of good stuff there, but um, there's lots of the big stuff that I want to do and lots of people's suggestions involve, you know, like stuff that you could only get, uh, you know, from mob drops or whatever. So I definitely want to kind of start working our way into that. It's a little tricky because sound and getting snuck up on, it's definitely less relaxing to, you know, be walking along and then have a creeper blow up beside you and kill you. So we'll have to just see how it goes. We'll just have to not go out at night. Okay, here we go. I had decided uh, to get rid of this kind of wall here because it was ruining an otherwise nice view. So that's much better. Okay, so now let's do. So I know it's dark right now, it might be hard to see, but just 
ever a time in Minecraft where you have enough wood? Like, oh, okay, I have enough wood, I never need to go get wood again. No, man, you're always gonna need to go out and get more wood. Okay. It's a nice rainstorm we got going on here. Okay, so my, uh, So just kind of some fancy looking light fixtures around. Um, let's do, actually for this I'll just go like that. Also someone pointed out, and thank you for seeing this because I was stupid and didn't think of it, is um, wolves could take and not for smarts. Alright, so we're gonna have to... I really want to keep the overhang look because I really like how that looks. So we're gonna... It's definitely the hard way, but we're gonna do it. Honestly, if wolves get in, I just think that this needs to look like 
just shave it off and make kind of a half outdoor thing. And I'm kind of leaning towards that because this building is just so blocky. I usually don't think, I usually don't do things so, so rectangular and boring. So I kind of want to cut it down, uh, make a cool little half outdoor area, and just make it look nicer up there because it looks pretty weak. It does feel a little bad to do because we, you know, spent a lot of time making all this glass, and, but we're only going to shave it off from a little bit. So let's say right here, let the stairs begin. So let's say here, you come up the stairs and you're going to be in the cool path. We're just going to have to break all the glass. We have a lot more, I think. Or at least we have lots of sand. Because we didn't need that much oak, because we're just getting oak right now. We'll need another axe, though. So I kind of want to make it um, not, I'll show you, I think I want to make it, I was thinking of just leaving like this, and then I was thinking just do fences, but I feel like we've been using fences so much that they're just kind of overdone at this point, like everything is a fence. I mean, you know, they're very versatile uh, pieces of work, but uh, today we're going to not wood fences, we're going to make stone walls. Also, I don't know, I think I have fire spreads turned off. I'll have to check, but one of my favorite things to do too is make a fireplace. You'd put like a square of, um, whatchamacallit, just cobblestone or whatever you want, with two netherrack, light those on fire, you put the stone around it, and then you make like a little chimney going up. And then it just burns constantly. But with fire spreads on, <laughs> it would just burn my whole house down. So uh, we're going to be fire safety conscious and not to do that. Um, um, boom, boom. Yeah, buddy. Stone wall. Yeah, I think so, guys. So, I think this is the right thing to do. I do like how they look, you know. Yeah, there we go. Uh, much better view. Okay, so now I think we should make it... Um, Let's go. and 
almost want to not do a door. You feel me? Yeah, let's skip the door, man. Alright, so here's the master plan. I just don't want it to be like completely submerged in dirt where you can't even see it because that's what's the point, but uh, I do want it to be, um, you know, start it right here. I'm hammering a shovel already.
Finding time is still so exciting. It was honestly the best feeling in the world as a kid. And it still is. Okay, well, I think we ran out of our luck there. So I guess, I mean, that's good. We got 41 iron. Huh? Yeah, the first one didn't have five heads. 
seven. Actually, I don't even know if I was counting either of them. So, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, yikes, though, I feel like there's so much potential in this cave.
also we got bones, which is actually something that I wanted to, I just really, something I wanted, I just didn't really think about that I wanted, because I've wanted more than one wolf for a while, but. Also, I created a Patreon. I know everyone's got one. I felt like I was left out. I don't really expect anyone to go and support me on there, knowing that my, most of my viewer base is definitely, like, younger kids. Um, but I thought I had I needed to say it out loud on here that I created one. Otherwise, what's the point if no one knows about it? So if you are someone that wants to support me, uh, I have it. Link is in the description. Um, yeah, I don't make much money doing this channel. I mostly do it for fun, so I figured I'd create one and see if anyone, you know, liked my channel enough to want to actually, you know, make it more financially worthwhile, not just for fun. So, anyway, thank you so much to anyone just for being here, uh, so don't feel like you're pressured to do that, but know that it is there and that I would greatly appreciate it if anyone went over and supported me. Hey guys, this is your captain speaking, soft speaking, and we're back with Minecraft Mondays. It is episode 11 today, and I'm pretty excited about this one because we're going to shake it up a bit and just go on a long adventure. Uh, we're going to travel far from home and then, you know, hopefully make it back. Um, last episode, we renovated the house, uh, made this balcony area. stable for our horse, um, or a cage by some definitions, um, but some lights around, um, made a well, so we have a water source, um, let's also harvest this, this well for here, keep this going, and, um, yeah, we did some other stuff, but I can't remember. Fishing pole, and what does it, what does it take to make a map anyway? 
precious to us, though. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's leather that's precious to us for the books. So let's just make a map really quick. I don't want to mess around. Let's take these bones we got and hope to tame another wolf. Um, Alright, let's go. Should we go this way? Let's actually bring um, a boat. No, that's dumb. We'll just make one if we need one. Alright, let's do this thing. Um, I'm thinking we'll just start this way. Look at my plants are growing again. Wow. <laughs> yet, actually. I don't want him to follow me the whole time. Actually, you know what? No, no, no yeah, I don't want to. I was going to say, it might be nice to have a buddy the whole time, but we're going to be moving so fast, he's going to be teleporting over and over again anyway. Or just falling behind. Do they teleport to you if you get too far? I think they do. Um, next episode, not to get ahead of myself, but next episode, I think I'm going to turn Peaceful off. And we're just going to see how it goes. Um, this is going to involve a lot less night probably good uh, because it'll it'll keep me out of the dark for the sake of my viewers eyes honestly though look at this world this is such a nice world I'll put my seed in the pinned comment and description and then I'll uh, try to get my coordinates for where my house is so that because uh, people are always asking for that also we're going to kill every cow we see on the way because uh skin. Ah, what a lovely day. Um, yeah, let's go for a swim. Nice. I do like that. Obviously, this is just like two foot deep water, but um, I do like how they've made exactly what we 
we are hoping to find out in the wild. Um, like I said, I think finding a village would be nice. Um, finding... I don't know. Hey, Mr. Cow. So, so far I'm keeping to the logic of kind of walking in a straight line. So home is basically directly that way. I mean, I've, I've zigzagged a little bit, but I'm trying to mentally keep a note of which direction I'm going. Um, since our map only, like, covers, like, Still not easy, look at that. We're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about this actually. This is something something new. Okay. Where do we go first? 
shell mob. I've, I've been in strongholds before, but or whatever these are called, but I don't think I've ever thought about taking the carpet before. Carpet can get a little bit tedious to make, so for how much you usually need of it, so let's just take a bunch. How much is that? 64. Did I pass a room? I did. Ah, uh, I'm coming back. That's what our house needs, is carpet. Keep breaking. 
freaking carpet as I walk over it. Okay, a little, uh, little bathhouse or something. Okay, well, I uh, guess we'll go upstairs now. Stronghold of unconventional loot. Okay. Another flower. Okay, here we go. Bookcases. They just shop books, which is fine. Alright, sick. This is very good news. I was getting a little worried there that we were going to leave without any books. That we were going to leave without any knowledge. This is exciting because we're going to have the potential to do some serious enchanting. Um, another room of nothingness. Another table room. Okay, let's go. They're spoiling us. Okay, I don't need this. Where did I get that from? Okay, so if it's three books to make a book case, we need 15. We actually have, what, do we have two or three so far? Well, let's just say we have none, so we need 45 books. So. Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, now you're just messing with me. First there's no bookshelves, and now it's only bookshelves. Uh, what's this? Another floor. I feel inclined to keep searching this place just for any kind of loot. I do like how oh, this all looks. Actually, that's pretty smart for a chandelier. Mental note. Fences are like used for so many things. Who would have thought, you know? Okay, I'm pretty sure there's going to be nothing else in here, but why did you feel bad if you missed it? Like anything 
some serious bad luck with these where I'll just dig everywhere and still not find it. So, let's see. Oh, it's actually out in the water. Or so they claim. Yeah, this episode's basically just adventuring at this point. And that is a nice change of pace. Yeah.
So now we can keep our eyes out for wolves because we got 20, uh, 20 bones now. Oh, it's like magic there. It just happened to be wolves here. Be tame. Yay. My friends. You're going to love your new home. No 
sense to me. Like, that looks stupid. Ah, I messed it up. We're gonna do 60. I don't care if they all count. Actually, we're gonna do... No. Don't tell me what I can or can't do. We're just gonna do a nice rotation of
that they're like once you get too far away they like teleport to you. Well I guess our wolves didn't make it. Uh, but luckily there's a wolf just chilling outside of our house. Just asking for a home. It's really kind of sad, you know. So let's go ahead and bring him in. Also why is the grass not growing back on this dirt? I don't want it to look ugly. suggestions I've seen a couple times are just a lot more, you know, house renovations, putting uh, fences on our bridge. Only problem with that is it's only two blocks wide, so I couldn't put fences on it unless I made it wider or put, bridge, or put fences on one side of it, which makes no sense. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, some more structures I want to build is we need some more structures out that direction because we have the bridge and the tower and the lighthouse and this whole area, but we need to build kind of that way in backwards. So uh, if you have any suggestions of what I can, oops, if you have any suggestions of what other things I can build for future um, builds, let me know. Um, towers and lighthouses and stuff, uh, we've already done, so the more creative, the better. So I do want to put on um, uh, difficulty next time, so we can do some combat. It's time, not not for the combat, but it's time to get out peaceful. We are more than ready for it. So we'll try it next time, see how it goes. But if a creeper blows up my house, I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, well, thank you guys a lot for watching uh, this Minecraft Monday. Um, if you're looking for more Minecraft from me, every week people say, hey, do this every day or more times a week. Um, I think I'm going to keep this series specific to Minecraft Monday, um, this world. But I have some other kind of Minecraft ideas for you know, the rest of the week. Not for every day, but I think I'll sneak in a Minecraft video 
every now and then. Um, and then my other channel, I think I'm going to put a lot of Minecraft on it because uh, I'll probably do some creative world stuff on there. Because it's just, an, it's an easy game to play and record. There's not a whole lot of intensive stuff about it. It's just building and it's fun to watch and it's easy to make and it's fun to play. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my other channel yet, go check it out. It's called Greg Bro Dude Man. Links are always in the description. Um, but anyway, there we go. We got some fish. Uh, I'm excited to start next episode off from this from this spot. This is a nice little view. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is your captain, signing off. Good night, guys.
possibility of death, um, which is just invigorating, isn't it? Okay, we'll need all this. Um, we're going to not bring any diamonds with us. Let's cook some. Just follow around the fortress, I guess. 
to the uh, please. 
spawn, I guess. Because we want, I want to get like, I want to say five blaze rods, but I, I'll settle for like three or four.
that's just that's just life. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do much brewing this episode. I kind of wanna, I kind of just wanted to make the ability to do it. Um, but let's go ahead and turn to the left. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll we'll work on it. Actually, let's go ahead and fill them with water. Might as well. Um, I the reason why I'm not super about to brew a bunch of potions is a I don't think we have all the stuff we need and b um i guess i don't need to i guess they don't stack huh whoops um i don't know a lot about uh i don't know all the potions you can make and which ones are good and whatnot well i do know that part i just don't know what what you all need so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of reading on the whole brewing stuff before we do anything too extensive but i know i want potions of regeneration and um that sort of thing hey chicken actually i would love it if you would follow me down the side of this mountain um excuse me hey listen to me see it's true because it wasn't doing this before um i remember looking at it and thinking oh i thought it like made a little effect like it was grabbing stuff from the bookshelves and it didn't do it last time so that makes sense thank you for the pro tips now we have 18 bookshelves which is more than the maximum that actually does something so we definitely are good there um let's 
go ahead and make, um, now that we're playing not on peaceful, let's go ahead and make a diamond sword. Uh, that was, we're gonna enchant it too. Um, but before we enchant anything, actually, well, I guess let's put this away for now just in case we die. But I want to just take some time to just gain some XP because I feel like we've been, uh, using up our XP pretty quick. So let's go ahead and I'm not like super familiar with how all this works, but 
it seems like. Like, why is it giving me two level 7 things and a 30? Like, you know, where's, like, everything in between those two? I don't know enough, but we're going to go ahead and enchant that. Um, so, because level 30 is far away from us, but um, this will this will be this will be solid. It ain't much, but it's something. Okay, let's put our stuff away and let's call it a day. Um, I 
have started a survival series on my other channel, my just regular non-ASMR gaming channel. Um, same idea, the, the difference is, um, in addition to just not being ASMR, is I always will have guests on it, so it's not just me, it's we play two players split screen, and we're just going to work on an ever-progressing survival world, so go check that out if you'd like to. Um, my guest, I only has, I just did my first episode, and the only guest that I've had on so far, um, I filmed the next two episodes already, but um, the only one I have up so far is uh, Pluto Dweller. Uh, you'll know her from my April Fool's Day video, um, where I just had her pretend to be me, basically. Uh, the red, red hair girl, as everyone called her. So, she's a guest in episode one. Um, we had a lot of fun filming it, so hopefully you'll have a lot of fun watching it. But just a little plug for uh, my other project there. If I don't ever mention it, no one will ever know what they're missing out. sandstone in a, in a build soon. I do like how sandstone can look. Sandstone when the brick gets you turned into brick. Looks really cool. Okay, I'm actually going to say that that's good. Let's go on home. Also, I've had either several people or the same guy multiple times suggest I make an aquarium. And so I tried making an aquarium on one of my other survival worlds that I play on when I'm not recording. And uh, I spent all this time making it out of uh, blue terracotta and glass. And then I caught a bunch of different fish, uh, bucketed, like, you know, a, as many variety of fish as I could find. And then, um, and then I walked away. And you already know where this is going. I walked away and didn't realize that walking away from fish makes them spawn. So I spent literal hours on this and realized that you can't really make an aquarium because the fish go away as soon as you go away. Uh, which, I don't know if there's a way around that or what. Uh, so that was severely disappointing because I spent a lot of time on it. And it looked cool to the point that I was like, yeah, I'd like to do this again. Also, I think it was very much time furnaces in here. We definitely need more coal, actually. Let's go back to, actually, oh yeah, we've got food. We don't play on Peaceful anymore. We're, we're big kids now, so we actually have to eat and watch out for monsters. I remember uh, I was attempting to film episode, like, four or five or something, um, with it not on Peaceful, and I was walking across that bridge up there and I got hit by an arrow from a skeleton and just fell all the way off and it freaked me out. So that was largely why we've played on Peaceful for so long, but I think the real trick is to just don't go outside at night. That's also good advice for, uh, what the, bro. You can't be down here. I was gonna say it's also good advice for life. coal in this cave, but clearly, uh, that is not true. I was a fool. Okay, we're not even gonna bother. Alright, here we go. There we go. So, a lot of people, my last episode, I tried to get some XP, and I just went out and fought mobs, but you don't get, like, any XP from fighting mobs. You get XP, just, it's so slow. So, um, I mean, honestly, I'm getting XP from mining coal faster than I was from fighting mobs, but a lot of people suggested, like, a lot of people suggested, uh, nether quartz, um, in the nether, obviously, as good XP, good easy XP, so that's probably what we're gonna go do. Depending on how much XP it actually is, if it really is fast, then yeah, we could go over there and get it done. So, that's what we're going to do. But 
but we need coal right now, and this is also XP, so we are working on two things at once. But I'm excited about this building project. I don't want to do anything too crazy with it. I just want, like, a little kind of hut underwater. So it's not going to be a full-blown, like, house or mansion or anything. It's just going to be, like, you know, a room or two where we can kind of go hang out. I just always like the idea of being able to be in a closed, air-filled room while underwater. So, and it's a perfect spot for it. You got the dock there, and it kind of adds to the dock that, you know, now knowing that you can just jump off the dock and go to our secret little base. So, that's what we're going to do. How much is that? No. spread this out evenly, but clearly it's not going to be quite even still. Well, I guess they have a lot less in them. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, well, uh, there we go. We are on the right track. Let's go ahead and bring this with us, I guess. Should we even bother saving rock flesh? Especially knowing uh, that these come in such big clusters like this. Very nice. Thank you for the tip, guys. Um, Alright, well now it's a matter of finding a lot more nether quartz because we need a lot of this. slowly work my way towards, um, you know, building an end portal or whatever. Um, obviously the finale of this series will probably be killing the Ender Dragon. Um, that would just be a, a natural way to finish a series like this. Obviously I don't want to end it anytime soon. I'm having a great time and everyone's still liking it, so I am in no hurry to get there. But I do want it to be clear that that is kind of the objective we're working towards. Because it is good to have kind of overarching goal, yeah. I've actually never killed the Ender Dragon before without, like, you know, some modded PC something. You know, I don't even know what you have, what a good strategy is or what you need to do it, like, legitimately. So, it could be fun. trying to keep track of where I'm going so I don't get lost again. So let's just not go too far from this because as, as long as I can see this, I definitely know the way back. No, there's a lot down there. Oh, some right here. Hey, partner. Each cluster we 
expect a gas to just blow me off the side of the mountain. Not bad. That was pretty fast to go up 12 levels. Uh, and then we get to go home. Thank you for your time, Nether. I'll see you another time. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you do with Nether Quartz. Also, while I was in the nether, I was thinking, like, wait a second. Oh, I had more. I was like, isn't it when you're in the nether, the time stops for the overworld? Yeah, it does. Yeah, like we only have eight done, so. But luckily, it still, you know, it was still a good use of time because now. Yes. Yeah. 
nice now we have it. Uh, let's get all the glass we have so far. There's more XP for us. It's really hard to know how much glass we're actually going to need. There's pretty buckets. Oh, we have a diamond pickaxe, but that one's not. So what you want to do is you want to make it out of um, a easy to destroy block like dirt um, that you have a lot of, and then you want to kind of put the glass around it, and then you go inside and basically break all of the interior block um, to get rid of the water. So it's all part of the plan. Okay, so let's, I'm just trying to get the height of it down. Be much better than a block like this is going to be really big, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out how tall I want it to be. I think that's probably good right there. Alright, this is annoying. We're going to go back up and see if I have a potion of water breathing.
nice door just anywhere you wanted and that block was now full of air because that door only takes up a part of a uh, block space so right now you know how used to this kind of stuff was just put like a door right there and just kind of step into it every now and then okay now for the part where we cover this in um, glass and then we're going to dig uh, out the interior. So let's freaking do it. So now we just break in and luckily we should be able to breathe for this part. Yay, okay. Now we just dig out all the dirt. I think we'll have to be creative with the entrance since the door thing doesn't work anymore. watching me build, I want to do more creative mode stuff, because I feel like building is the, oh, sure, broke the glass. Building is, you know, obviously the, one of the main fun things about Minecraft, so if you want to see me just build, I have put one creative mode video out there on this channel, and in one of my other channels, but uh, I do just want to do more just creative mode building, because I really, really enjoy that, and you don't have to deal with all the stuff like you know this you can just build so but there is something about having to earn it you know this is survival that we're in and we're earning this I already like how this looks this is great
specifically, like I know they're pretty rare, but we're going to go on a little exploration adventure in hopes of finding and killing one. So that might be a little spooky, but we're going to try it. And then the last objective is we're going to build another bridge. Um, we built this one in like episode three, I think. And it's been an invaluable tool for getting from this mountain to that one. But there's another mountain, uh, this one right here. And I want to build a bridge off that one to connect some other ones because I want to I want to keep connecting all these big areas. Um, so, let's start by doing our little Enderman hunt and let's see if we can get some XP along the way. So let's put uh, this away. So we'll keep this so we don't starve. Um, should I bring all my good stuff? So I want to connect this mountain to that one. Is that a traitor right there? Hey, look, look at him. So I want to connect that one to that one and eventually connect this one to, well, not, I guess I don't need to do that because this one's here. But that one to that one and then there's uh, one behind it. So just a bunch of little bridges, nothing too crazy. This is probably the biggest bridge that we'll ever make in the series. This was a ridiculous bridge to make. Um, should we go this way? like watch me play creative mode as well as survival i know i enjoy both quite a lot also big thanks to everyone that showed up for my 25k celebration stream that was a lot of fun and anyone that attended the <laughs> miserable 24 hour stream that we attempted uh last week or two weeks ago i guess it was last week um it was Far too long. Have I been to this ship before? I don't think I have. Oh, yikes. It's getting dark already. I guess, I mean, it didn't look like it was getting dark when we left, but I guess that was literal minutes ago. Wait a minute. Supposed to be on land. What are you doing? Okay. Well, I mean, the thing about hunting Enderman is that you don't really. You can't, you know? You just wander around and hope for the best, which is basically what we're doing right now. Uh, I feel like. I feel like I see them often enough. They're definitely very rare, but I feel like I've seen a few. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some high ground and kind of look around. We're playing on easy, so it shouldn't be too hard to, like, kill one. Oh. Oh, yeah. I guess we should go to sleep, huh? I feel like it hasn't been that long since we slept, but apparently. more bones. 
wants to. Well, that's good news. Okay. Luckily, I was just going to say, luckily those guys are leaving me alone. Surprise, these guys are after me. I don't think it's been that long since I slept. Like, the, my whole episode last time was spent in the nether, I felt like. And time doesn't move in the overworld while you're in the nether, so... We definitely didn't... I don't know. I'm pretty sure we slept in the episode before. scary. I 
do not like that. That was a bad experience. Okay, we're going back inside. We're going to lie down. We're going to go to sleep. Let's uh let's go ahead and clear out the old inventory. Uh or organize rather. Um you you We got a lot of bones now. but I'm just going to fast forward this part for you guys because you don't want to watch me do this two episodes in a row. So, okay. 31 for good measure. Oh, frick. Thanks. Time to get out of here. We're back. Went to level 31 just for good measure. Um, and we got hella, hella cords now. Uh, let's keep some so hungry all the time. But, yeah, I've been getting, I mean, obviously I've been back into Minecraft because of this series, but, um, a name tag, yes. Good news. Uh, but I've got this series, a survival series here, and then I've been doing creative on this channel. And then on my other channel, I've been playing survival with friends, so I basically have three different Minecraft series right now between my two channels. And then I've been playing it a lot on my own, so I'm like, dude, it feels weird to be playing so much Minecraft after all this time, but I realize I actually missed it a lot. It's been fun to play. But I'm happy you guys like it. There's so many squid. Like, the spawns on the squid are just way too aggressive. Like, that's everywhere. Like, any body of water, there's like ten squid. I don't know if that's how it really is, partner. It's like more squid than fish. Oh. Bow punch one. <laughs> Needs to be repaired as well. Pretty good. 
uh, rates so far. We've gotten like four fish and two uh, special items. What's that? Jabirak. I think that's some more junk in special item. Honestly, this boat might be too, but I know it's better to fish while it's raining. less of an aquarium, more of just like a fish tank. Because on my other world, um, not on camera, my, my own world, I made a big aquarium, like a big, like, multiple room, multiple fish tank kind of aquarium. Like, that's what it was. But in this world, I'd probably just be like a fish tank. You know, some glass with various fish in it. that we've had great rates. It went to like five fish in a row. You silly dolphins. Alright, well, at least we're getting good food, right? Since apparently we can't walk ten feet without starving.
honestly don't need any more of either of these, but it feels bad just to see them sitting there. Okay, from right here. Yeah. Yeah, from right here. Pew, pew. Let's just see how much we need. Let's just go straight out first. smaller gap to cover, but a much needed gap to cover. Come on. Okay, looks like we can do it on one stack of 64, which is good news for me. This one three wide uh, because I want to put railing on it. We weren't able to put railing on the other one because it was too uh, skinny. We did do blocks wide just because it was so long. But since this one is not as long, we're going to make it wider by a single block. So that means we're actually going to have it come from here and up right here. And we're going to go chop some wood. should do it. Back we go. Let's build. Um, oh wait. We're prop one. We're going to need some, some uh, well, we'll start with what we have.
Hey guys, this is your captain speaking. Soft speaking. Welcome to Minecraft Freaking Mondays, episode 15 today. So last week we did um, three things. We enchanted a fishing rod with Luck of the Sea 3. Did some fishing. Didn't really get much, but we didn't fish for that long. But uh, I was hoping to get some enchantment books or uh, uh, what are we called? Name, name tags. So we got a couple of those, but nothing too crazy. And then we uh, hunted down an Enderman, which was quite the adventure um, and terrifying. We actually found him, and then we built a bridge. So, so today we have three objectives, as usual. We are going to um, our reason to leave the house is going to be more wolves. We're going to go hunt down. Just a couple wolves, just mostly just for fun. We've got uh, 18 bones just sitting here. Um, so we're going to use those. But the thing I'm really excited about doing today is we're going to make a um, like a secret bunker. Um, I was reading about how to make redstone doors with the sticky pistons to like make them open with pressure plates and then close and it looks really cool. And I think I have a spot for it as well as a use for it. So we're going to make use of some of our supplies as well as all this uh, quartz we have here. We're going to make some cool uh, white quartz blocks with that. And we're going to make a little uh, secret bunker. So uh, we have a exploring objective. We have a kind of making, crafting objective. And then we have a building objective. So let me just get organized here. Oh, oak sapling. junk away with you okay so let's sleep the night away so we're not traveling in the dark this chest has this I think I want to do I think I want to do stone you'll see what I mean when we get there but I think I want to do stone treats. I've got 
realized that this was actually just easy. You know, what if we just found him easily for once? I mean, last week we looked for an Enderman, and that took a long time. But we found him, eventually. Um, and so we could find an Enderman at will. Okay. 
these guys. Yes. Okay, we got four wolves. Please, yes, five wolves. See what I mean? There's none, and there's five. Okay, I can't imagine there's more than that, so we're gonna go ahead and help them out. You know, if I can remember the way. I still have 11 bones left. What, what good rates are those? Remember the first wolf we found? It took like seven bones. I think we had eight total. Uh, and we were like, let's go tame as many wolves as we can. And we tamed. The first wolf took like six or seven bones. Then we had like one or two left for the next wolf. And we didn't tame them. So it was like, wow, you get one wolf. Congratulations. And I was like, holy crap. That was some. That was some bad, bad luck. Alright, bring him up, boys. Yeah. And two more bones. For any other lucky wolves we see along the way. Alright. Oh, I see. Um, I see the bridge. Someone said I need to plant these in a 2x2 two two, uh, in order to make the dark oak ones grow, which makes sense. I just haven't done that. So I guess I was just going to sit there for a while. We are home. We made it. And we made it with five. Oh, four. Because we lost one at some point. Four wolves. Not bad. We have two. Um, so now we got six. Welcome to your new home. Actually, do we have... Yeah, we got one, two, okay. Sit, 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 and sit. You guys are going to start making the place a little crowded, huh? Okay, you're going to sit there. Okay, uh, let's...
So we're gonna eventually dig out a room here. Actually, let's just do that. So you walk through this, and then let's put the door like there. So we'll do that in a second, but um, let's clear out the room just so we have an idea of what we're getting ourselves into.
go. Sticky pistons here and uh, here, as well as you guessed it, here and here. Um, okay, then we're gonna put this on top, this on top. Can we get across? There we go. Okay, this is gonna be sweet. We also want to block all this off. Just so that you don't, you know, immediately see exactly how he did it as soon as you walk in the door. Also, I had thought that all that course we had was going to make more of these, but clearly I was wrong. I didn't realize it was four courts to make one block. We're gonna cut some corners quite literally. So we need to go like that. We'll need to do a little more than that because we're gonna actually have to replace the ceiling as well. Quartz, but we're not going to have a quartz for that anyway, so I don't know what we'll do. Let's make... Okay, why does that look weird? Oh, that's why. Let's go check if we have any more quartz, because I think we have more somewhere. Nope. We do not have any more quartz.
bitches. better be enough. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, it might be. Nope. Oh, I wasted one. Oh, it'll be enough. Oh, yikes. Oh, oof. makes it like too white in here though. Frick. I gotta have more. Okay, good. I was worried we didn't have any more.
secret lab. I like it a lot. Alright, I like it a lot. Um, I love how this feels. Look at this thing. It's so cool. It's like right here, it's like, yeah, it's same as always. You walk through it. You walk through it. Secret lab. I was thinking when you put stuff in here, but I'm gonna cut the episode off here. Um, let me know what we can put in the secret lab that feels secret lab -y. It just feels like a square room right now. It's like, I don't want to just put, like, furnaces and crafting tables. I want it to be cool. So let me know what to put in it. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this episode of Minecraft Monday. We do this every Monday. Let me know what the objectives for next week should be. Um, appreciate your support so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your captain.
So we'll do that. We'll put some blast furnaces down there. We want to do some serious ore um, smelting. Let's do a. I know I'm going to have logs somewhere, right? Okay, I don't have any logs. Let's go grab some logs real quick. a key right here that we might want to use as our key for the day. Uh, I was watching a video of a guy that just had like this endless spanning like underground key that you could tell he'd been working on for a while and I kind of made me think like yeah we don't really have like a cave um, like a Because, you know, we've, we've gotten in the habit of, like, mining a bunch of iron and then being like, okay, we have enough to last us a while and then we eventually need more because, you know, you go through it. Okay, so I guess that's four smokers. Which means we need... We just just go like this, right? There's really no more elegant way to do this. Yeah, all right, I like it. Okay, I'll put these two in the corners, just on the off chance that someday we can go use them. We will have a place to do that. All right, cool. Um, I do want to replace this hallway with well, what's going on here. I do want to replace all this with wood. Uh, I realize that that's been the same since like episode two. And I've, every time I go through it, I think like, hey, I should change this. So it's just all um, wood. So we do still need to like put something in our underwater dome that makes it interesting because it's still just that is an issue for another day because I really don't know like what I don't want to put there because it's like it's far away so it can't be anything important because I don't want to travel over there all the time so we'll just leave it for now um okay so let's do some birch we don't want 
I really don't need more wheat. That's why I didn't do a huge farm every time I do, like, a farm. I always make way too much, and I end up spending the whole game being like, what am I supposed to do with all of this? So we're 
gonna go, I think I wanna start at the key that was over. No, actually I don't because I don't wanna start so high up a mountain. I wanna start lower to the lower to the ground, somewhere we could actually find diamonds. Um, so let's go downwards. I thought about just digging straight from here, but um, I don't think I wanna do that. It's still too high off the ground. I think I wanna start digging. some stuff up. Hopefully not ourselves, but there are never any guarantees. Okay, well, if we're gonna walk past this, we might as well, like, clear it while we're on the way down, you know?
this isn't even like a time saver, like what is time and time I need for if, if this is all I can do. Alright, well, we got ourselves a room that is begin excavation. So let's make this the bottom layer. This is our floor. You look gold. You shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. You messed it up by grooving it. This is supposed to be organized. So we should be pretty far underground, like under sea level right now, because we started like at sea level and we went down, you know, pretty far, significantly I'd say. Um, so we can just dig outwards I think at this point, outwards and you know, downwards a little bit, but I just want to make like mine shafts. So if we had these two, this one needs to go a little more. Yeah, all right, nice. Okay, so let's make, like, I'm thinking three tunnels direction so we got one that goes um, this way we're gonna ignore the gold no we can't that's not how mama raised me all right I'd like to get to the point where we can just keep expanding this kind of mine area to the point that you know, if we just have all these different ways we can go and kind of more efficient way of mining, um, then we can just, if we need more supplies, like we need to start stockpiling more diamonds, like we've got like 10 in the, in the, in the bank. Um, of course, we, you know, we've made a lot of tools with them already, but I want to make a full armor set and have like surplus diamonds to do stuff with. And right now we are not in kind of situation, so. Oh, <laughs> come on, really? You know, for some of us. Let's see how far this thing goes. two for two, if we can like make each 
each of our little pathways offshoot into an, uh, its own little cavern system. Be a pretty good gig for when we need to go mining. It's like, oh, just pick a, pick a door, any door.
but there's iron. There's a plenty of iron and redstone.
also something else I was planning on doing is opening up these. It was just like unnecessarily cramped. So there we go. Um, what are they doing? Yeah, that looks way better. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. side. 
back of the ship to kind of jet outwards. Once again, torch it up. Okay. How much space is that? There's really not that much space. But this is no luxury.
legs here that we can use if we run out. Okay, we are gonna need more of everything. I guess we should make it so that you can So we got our secret base, which is neat out. Let's do the sales. not 
chicken farm, ship.
Survival, episode 18. Um, and right off the bat, there's, oh god, I was going to say right off the bat, there's an Enderman. And then I looked at him. He's coming to take my blocks from me. Alright, we're safe. As if we're ever really safe. It's not like we have ten wolves guarding us. Okay, uh, we have a couple, hey, look, the sunrise. Um, we have a couple small things we're going to do today, and one big thing we're going to do today. Uh, one thing, though, that I will say going forward for the series is I'm going to not try to stick so uh, strictly to the three goals. The three goals. <laughs> uh, three goals a week kind of thing that we've been doing. I don't know if anyone even noticed or cared, but I always have three things. Um, but what I've had to do, because like, oh, I want to do this one thing that's going to take a long time, I would like have to shoehorn two smaller objectives in to make it three, you know? So, we're going to break free from the, uh, required three goals. Like, today our two goals are basically we're going to do some mining and we're going to build a fortress. Like, we're going to do some, like, but I would, but we're also going to make a shield today. We're going to make a shield right now while I remember. Uh, we all clear? Y'all understand? Good. Moving on. Just gotta get organized after the last episode. Uh, we got so much junk right now.
because my poor viewers at home need to be able to see what I'm doing. You're so picky. I know that. I made it. <laughs> I joke. So, I've had people suggest it's just a classic Minecraft thing to do, but uh, to make a fortress. So, we're gonna do that. Okay, why does this feel rectangular to me? Um, but it's not gonna be any stupidly large fortress, it's just gonna be big enough to where. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure it was boring on me. Okay, we're chilling. We're good. Nobody needs to panic. I handled that well. Did you handle that well? Okay, what do we got going on in here? Well, a cave is actually good news because if we're lucky, we'll just freaking find diamonds. We can strip mine.
It just feels like since lava is like at the same altitude as me, like I could just be walking along like this and then just step right into lava. You know what I mean? I guess I should keep a step back for that exact reason. See, isn't this fun to watch? Just me. things where you really just need to do this for like stupid amounts of time, which I'm not going to do on video, so we're just for a little bit longer, and then we're going to go.
direction. So you either want to build it like there, there, there. I think over here is probably our best bet. I just don't like going over there. Yeah, we need more of that direction. We're going to go over there. Um, okay, let's. start here. I see that creeper, don't worry. I see it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, actually, we gotta go back and we gotta go to sleep first because this... Actually, if there's just one out, we kill him. Does he go away? Let's go like this. Let's see if we can kill him. And, uh, oh, there's two of them. Come here, you dirtbag. Die. I don't like these guys. They make me feel scared. Okay, how much longer is night? like infinite enemies. Am I stressing you out? Are you getting stressed because I have one and a half hearts right now and I'm not looking where I'm going? Come on, by now you gotta know. Captain lives his life on the edge. The edge of insanity. Like ground. 
this here. Let's put like a big erasure room here. One, two, three. Let's just make some more room here. I'm gonna avoid making a square this time, I promise. Okay. Uh, let's do
this is going to have to be split into two episodes because I think that we're going to have to call it quits pretty soon here. My own sanity. Uh, and just because I have to edit all of this. There's no door into this big one, huh? Uh, let's put it here. Okay, let's put Tyrek in here as well. a castle in the making. Um, it's pretty plain right now. The structures are all empty. This courtyard area is actually a little smaller than I wanted it to be, but um, worst case scenario, we could push that wall back a little bit. Maybe even push that over if we really wanted to, but it's probably fine. We'll make, we'll make good use of it. Uh, oh, let's do this really quick. That's what we were working on. Monday. Let me know if you have any ideas for the castle or what we could put in here. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm excited about it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go to sleep now. This is your captain signing out. down. 
to grow. 
did something. Okay, um, that looks fine. Okay, uh, we have some charcoal now, and we have some torches now.
lots of baked potatoes. Never mind. Uh, let's plant some beetroot. Might as well. Uh, let's grab a bucket. And... Let's put an armor statue somewhere. spend forever on this. I do have other stuff we, we gotta do today, so um, first things first. Let's put the armor stand in the main hall. Kind of off to the side. Looking good. Looking good. That one's me.
Okay. 
is it? I just... It looks like it's growing. That one looks done, actually. Yeah, see, I don't know. Alright, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and go back home. We will, uh, probably build a bridge and find stuff to put in there. But right now, I'm actually pretty happy with it as a, uh, home away from home. A nice little thing to look at in the distance. There's a spider coming to kill me. And I just remember I wanted to destroy this tree. Back, foul beast. respect you enough to do just that. Um, okay, so we're gonna dig into the wall a little bit and make some more fences for these boys. Um, luckily, we have the appropriate wood. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if I have to. So this was actually someone's request. Someone's like, hey, you should dig into the wall and expand their space a little bit. Um, and that was actually a nice idea. It's a simple thing, but I like it. Um, just because it's kind of tacky the way it is. Oh, great. I actually don't want to do that. Maybe even give them, like, oh, that's a gravel in the room. Maybe even put, like, a little pond or something back there. Give them some surf. Playing with fire, okay, do you know who I am? The one that feeds you. You don't want to mess with me. Especially not on my day off. I'm gonna do another Minecraft creative video this week, I think. People have been really liking that, and I really want to work on my world. It's like, I hope. Oh Yikes, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Not bad. All right, yeah, that's simple, but whatever. Let's give... Just be 
well, let's make this, it doesn't have to be the storage area, but let's put some storage up here. You know, it's not going to commit to this being the new storage area. This is definitely going to be a storage area. Could you, could you please not? Yeah, that, yeah, that's not, that's not an improvement, friend. Do I get to it? Do I get hit you? says no. Then we will allow him to uh, say no. Okay, well we don't have any more wood anyway, so let's just, let's actually just put two and two, I think. Like that. In fact, like, otherwise the room's going to be too crowded. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff and start putting it where it, it ought to be. So, uh, let's start with, like, Basic crafting materials. Um, uh, no quartz can go. Redstone can go. Okay, we'll come back and we'll grab some more. Um, actually, uh, now I'm second guessing myself because I'm like, wait, I kind of want that stuff to be in these chests. So let's go like this instead. Let's put, oops, not you, get out of there. Okay, slam ball, you stay, um, you can go, you can go. These are kind of here for reasons for my own use, so we'll keep those. Uh, the rest of you. So let's put, like, house materials, like, placeable, like, stairs, slabs, um, fences, doors, carpet, um, pressure plates. Yeah, I could use those for tables a lot. Okay. Then let's put, um, like, kind of, like, tools, but more like utilities. So like railroad is kind of a utility. Um, a tripwire hook is a utility. Like a placeable item. Okay, well, let's put, um, let's move the stone back in here. Okay, let's put, let's get rid of what we can out of our own hands. Food, food, and food, as well as I do like this. 
this chest. This chest actually has a purpose and it makes sense. But let's take some stuff that doesn't quite fit what we're doing here out. This chest is just kind of like the uh, important crafting materials. Although we have redstone in here, so let's take this out. This is kind of like rare crafting materials, like usually like mining related. And this is like more like wood. Actually, let's put this in the other one then. And that in there as well. Um, and then we'll put some of this over there. We might as well. Uh, oh, yikes. Like, wow, I totally forgot we made so much stone. That's gonna need to go in a chest as well. Well, I don't know. That's probably the downstairs chest. Let's make this one the kind of like building materials, but not such, like this will just be like cobblestone and dirt. This will be like the more rare. Like you actually have to try to get this. Also, this and this are in the wrong spot. Also, there's stairs in here. Okay. Okay. So let's put the more rare materials in here. Let's go upstairs. Tools chest. Maybe this, this. Um, I just meant to put glass in that one. There's this, this, this. Let's just go ahead and place this in each one. We will have to get more um, coal to actually cook all of it, but we'll at least put it in there. Um, episode. I think that I'm pretty happy with our work. Castle's looking, ooh, that looks good. That looks real nice. Um, yeah, we're organized. Form uh, is pointlessly expanded. I think I think one might do something else with that, but um, for now, at least it looks a little bit better. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video and uh, next week's Minecraft Monday. I'll probably be posting Minecraft Creative on Friday, so keep your eyes out for that as well. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for being awesome. This is your captain. Signing out. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. This is your captain speaking. So, I'm speaking and welcome to episode 20 of Minecraft Monday. That's insane. 20 episodes. It does not feel like that many episodes. Um, we've been doing it every Monday for like, I think, 15 of those episodes. The first few were like, you know, a month or so apart, but then everyone loved it so much we've been doing it every week. Um, 20 episodes in. So last week we made, we finished making that castle, which looks real nice. Um, we worked on our farm a little bit and we did one more thing. Oh yeah, we organized our chests. 
um, not everyone liked how I organized it because it's really not like I could go crazy with organizing things more, but all that matters is that I have enough room to put what I need where I need it to go, you know? I could do 50 more chests of like this chest, I only will have water bottles, and this chest I will only have saplings, but I'm down for, like right now we have eight double chests total, and at least for me, I can keep track mentally of where everything is based on those eight chests, and so to me that's a successful organization. I know where everything I need is going to be, and the most important things are in these two chests, well mostly just this chest. So today we're doing three things as usual, except for that one time we did two things. Um, we're going to do some more mining because we need more iron and gold for the, for step two, which is um, we're going to make a mine cart track from here that way, I think. Well, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it from here or not, but I think I'm going to do it from up here. Basically, it's just a track that gets us really close or all the way to the castle and kind of connects here from here to there, um, especially because we're such a we're at such a high elevation that we can get most of the way without needing too much for powered rails. Although for getting back we will, but in order to do that we're gonna need hella iron and gold, and we have a lot. Is it in the downstairs? Oh, it's in these ones. Wait, did it actually have enough? There was like hardly any. Um, like it 
it's a nice reminder that uh, it doesn't have to be funny to be entertaining. Um, yeah, this is ASMR after all. Sometimes I think that it has to be funny because I'm like, uh, if I don't make it funny, they're going to be like, what, this video is boring. But that's just me being. It's 
let's see how many mine carts, uh, mine cart tracks we can make. Or I don't want to, I don't want to make like all of them right away. Uh, I'm going to make like a lot and then we'll see how far that gets us. And then, uh, we'll go from there because I don't want to, I don't want to end up like making too much of, oh yikes, making too much of one thing, not enough of another, you know. Okay, yeah, there's some redstone. Oh, rude. Only, it only makes six. This makes 16, this makes six. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna wish we had more um, powered rails. Don't tell me I gotta go chop trees down. Who am I? I didn't have more wood. Oh, I actually can't remember the last time I actually went and chopped wood, like, for the purpose of supplies. So, my bad. Planted a bunch of trees in here some episodes ago, so we are not in any kind of shortage. That's rude. Okay, we're not going to spend much time on that. We're going to grab just what we need and we're going to Let's do this thing. So I want to make it from up here, I think. I want to be able to leave, like, from home. So I'm thinking I have a railroad go out uh, to there, and then maybe sometime down the line we can add a railroad that goes from here to, like, there and kind of connect. And maybe one that comes up here. I don't know. One that goes over there. I don't know. But today we're going to do one from here to, like, there. I think I just want to have it land where it's a short walk to the castle. I want to have it, like, go to the castle. So... Um, I guess we're gonna need hella blocks, huh? It's like 
like if you fall three blocks or more, it's like, okay, you're taking damage. Okay, feels like a very normal amount of distance to fall. But then again, if we're supposed to be like, say, five or six feet tall, and we're two blocks tall, then that means three blocks is like nine feet. So maybe it makes sense, but no, it doesn't. Okay, stop. Okay, we're actually hitting ground. Well, ironically, I don't want it to go all the way to the ground. Let's have it flatten out for a second. I should have brought my shears. I'll actually be out of town when you watch this video. Um, I'm going out of town on Saturday. and I actually did this ahead of time. You know, how you're supposed to do video content. Okay. We are on our way. Oh, God. straight from here. should go 
together. stone torches um what's the best way to do that can you technically just like okay like that that's how you gotta do it space these out too much but it is flat ground and we did we did already say that like hey we're okay with not hitting maximum speed right
Let's go.
strength, baby. And then let's go level them up again. Excellent. Plus three attack when applied. For three minutes. But just do white. It is now for eight minutes. Oh, eight minutes. That's not bad. Okay, uh, we just have enough for... sounds nasty. So our potion chest is going to be... Ah, let's just put them in this one. Okay, now we want to go... Okay, let's put the rest of our stuff away. We'll come back making again sometime down the line, but I just wanted to get some poor ones out of the way and know that we like we had the stuff for it. We made some. We're making progress. Cause I do want to um I do want to fight the Ender Dragon. Sooner than later, you know. We're getting to that point where uh we need something big to happen. So cool. We got three potion of strength. Eight minute versions and then four minute versions of potion of slow falling. We probably need more of both of these. Actually, this is probably good. Three eight minutes. Uh, that's 24 minutes. I probably need more of these though. So, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. We will take one more little night trip in the old mine cart. guys are watching i'll see you in the next video i do videos four days a week and minecraft monday every monday let's go ah, oh you see that creeper <laughs> yikes man
is we're going to start by going to the nether. Um, and then what we're going to do is, while we're there, we're going to mine some more cords for XP. Uh, and we're going to look for blazes to get some more blaze powder for later down the line when we want to turn our ender pearls into ice ender. Um, we're just planning ahead now. Um, and then we're going to, I think, just like enchant like books or something. Like if we don't get looting as one of our options, enchant something else and then, you know, get a new three options. And if there's still no looting, then we'll just keep enchanting garbage until we get the, uh, the good good. So, um, let's go to the nether, but we need more food. Honestly, our food supply is looking pretty bleak. Um, let's go harvest some wheat and make some bread. Time for our farm to be useful. go that way. But what is this way? Death? Yeah, it's honestly not looking super good for us. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say no. I remember that there is a reason we go this way. Because it is the only way. This way, we always are able to find our way back because of the obnoxious towers I've built. Um, you know, just these very clearly man-made bridges and things. I always know where I've been because of that. Enderman. Do we dare fight him? There's so many enemies right here. But it's just me and the cube. Ice of Ender or whatever grind is. Um, 
so it's not like it's not like two episodes from now we're gonna be playing the inner dragon but since it is kind of a grind to get there i want to start doing that kind of stuff now um we've done a lot of building projects and our world is pretty sweet but now it's time to kill okay know that the higher level we get, the higher, the more tries we get to, uh, uh, get whatever, looting three. I'm cool with looting two, honestly, just looting anything makes it so much better, but looting three obviously is the goals. Alright, cast, this is where I need you to go easy on me. So 
Just get if we could just get we got it we got looting 30 or we got looting 3 okay but we're three levels short which means we gotta go grind out more quartz I'm gonna do that really quick all right everybody stay calm don't move I'll be right back So like I said, I usually go overboard. So I'm at 32 and a half. So if I know that we only need 30, but I just don't want to come back here again for a while. So okay, this is it. We got looting three. Okay, I'm super happy about that. I was kind of like telling myself like, hey, it's cool if we get just looting two. You know, like looting two is pretty good. I was like about to sell for second best, but no sir, all right? None of that. We're number one out here. Um, so, so we have this sword that's going to be just our usual, just whenever we're just doing normal stuff. But as soon as there's an enemy that we're trying to loot, we're going to, I want to protect this sword greatly. I want that to last a long time. Um, because I don't know why. So now, let's go. I wish there was like a way you could just go out and hunt Enderman, you know? But we tried that once and it, we spent like half an hour looking and we found one. I edited it down to like five minutes, but I spent like half an hour and I only found one. Which is why I want to have this on us at all times so that whenever we're just out doing our own thing.
last furnace is downstairs, but we just didn't mine quite enough for that to really be worth it to go all the way downstairs, you know what I mean? Way too far. Okay. Oh, okay. We got some flint from that. And lots of slime. but let's do first things first. Let's go grab a bucket. Just farming, alright? 
just trying to farm. Anyway, uh, all right. Well, now we're gonna have hella wheat. Also, we should sleep. Also, we should harvest harvest our sugar. Let's go out at night. 
night as well. How much cobblestone do we have before we do anything? Do we really need to, no, we don't need, we do not need to gather cobblestone. Um, let's use just a regular, no oh, frick. And the spider, is that the, oh, yeah, okay. I was like, that spider.
looks how I imagine it, I should say. And that's true for everything. It's always a good idea up here. It doesn't always, it doesn't always translate how I want it to, but, uh, we do it because there's a chance.
actually go all the way from the ground. I'm sure you can clean out some of this too. Let's go.
actually looks pretty cool. It's not quite what I pictured, but it still looks Is, and then we'll see if we can get the, kind of the edges to go down. And then uh, I guess we'll, we'll look at it at that point. Bridges are easy to make. Okay. Um, yet again, we make a crafting table. And we make... What if we did, what if we did dark fences? What if we did cobblestone fences?
Okay, guys. Let's place a couple torches and we'll call it. Okay, let's find this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four.
it's not necessary. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I realize that this doesn't match. There needs to be one more block right there. And one less block. Uh, I don't know. Maybe two more blocks there. One more block there. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is your captain, signing out. Good night, guys. Hey guys, this is your captain speaking. So I'm just speaking and welcome to Minecraft Monday, episode 23. Um, we're going to do three things today, as usual. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out on a little like, adventure, see if we can find a village. I'm going to make some more bread here, but really. Um, we're going to try to find a village. We found a mansion. We found... I guess that's really it. We haven't found a desert temple or any of that stuff. Um, we found a mansion, but we have not found a village yet, which is, it is time to do so, because um, the other thing I want to do today is make a more serious farm beyond just um, wheat. We pretty much just have our wheat farm and our sugarcane farm, and those are like the two most basic, easiest to farm, so we're going to kind of expand our abilities here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. I kind of want to either flatten out like this area or like fill in the swamp. I like the idea of kind of looking out over everything and seeing like farmland, you know, like big farmland, whether it's here um, or we kind of fill in the swamp. I don't know if I like the swamp there. Anyway, we're, we'll get to that. Blah, blah, we'll get to that. Uh, first things first, we gotta go find a village. We're gonna, on our journey, try to collect apples because we wanna start making golden apples for, um, for having golden apples uh, for the purpose of uh, enter truck and find you know, you, you wanna have some gold apples. Uh, so we're gonna we only have one apple. We have a decent amount of gold, but we only have one apple. So, while we're out, we're going to be doing that. Um, let's enchant our shell really quick. Because, um, it doesn't really have, well, efficiency too isn't bad. Let's just see what it gives us. Efficiency three. You've got yourself a Since we've been out and we've wandered around a lot, I definitely want to go a direction I feel like we haven't really gone very far in because we haven't seen a village yet, which means we don't want to retrace our steps. We want to go somewhere brand new. So I know we spent a lot of time that way, and we always go that way. I feel like that way, we've been over there a couple times. We've gone this way a bit, but not very far because it's mostly water that way. I think we're going to go that way, which says bring a boat to me. I guess we can just make a boat. Huh? Okay, boat, boat, boat. Do we need anything else? I'm going to say some more torches. Let's do it. Ah, oh, our pickaxe is... For being an unbreaking, it sure is breaking. Alright, taking the bridge. Um, wait, should I should bring my emeralds. Just in case. I don't think I have many, but I definitely should bring them. Okay, we have three emeralds. Alright, anyway. So we really want to find a village for... Um, uh, their crops, basically, and whatever else we can find. And there's a lot of useful stuff you can get from a village, but um, what I'm most interested in, just off, off the bat, is probably just crops. I want potatoes, I want beets, I want carrots, I want all of it. Um, so we're gonna go raid some farms. We're gonna see if uh, we can buy anything off of them with our emeralds. Sort of. It's just 23 episodes in and we have not found a 
much yet, so it is denied. Okay, I believe I've been here before. I know I already checked that, uh, that thing, so we gotta go off to the great beyond. We don't wanna just go where we've been before, we wanna go where we have not been before. Okay, we've gone that way. Yeah, actually, let's, let's not take a boat yet. Um, crap.
this is a lot of nice flat ground and open space. What is that? Oh, dude, I think we found it. Wait, what the? Why does it look weird, though? It looks like a building. I saw a window. Really, the window is what gave it away. I saw glass. What have we found? What the hell? What are these houses made out of ice? Is that a thing? We found Eskimos. And they have wheat. They don't want wheat. We have wheat. But would we ever not take it? Uh, not what I meant to do. Okay, they got beets though. That's good news. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry.
outside. <gasps> okay, this is... Okay, I think I know where we are. Because we went... Yeah, 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 okay. We went over... We went over that, right? The sand over there. We went over that. We saw... We saw that. We went that way. Okay, so we gotta go this way. We're gonna be okay. Okay, there's the ravine. Look, we didn't get lost. We got... say let's leave the swamp there let's flatten this area out and put it here because this is kind of annoying to walk through and the swamp's kind of nice i don't know i kind of like it y'all ready to destroy some trees so we didn't get like that much uh seeds and stuff so we're not gonna build a plant like the whole farm some and then they let it grow and then you get more seeds the next time and so on you know how it works so i'd like to we'll probably make the area for a big farm but we probably won't actually plant most of it today it'll be an ongoing project
Like a tool. 
let's just freaking do this thing. Um, let's make a some planks, like a crafting table. Let's put our torches away just for a second. we're gonna do um, rows of water in between. So we don't want sugar cane to be on the end. Oh wait, you don't even. Okay, let's go grab water first. coming along.
success. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Uh, super big thanks to everyone. We hit 30k this last week. Uh, I'll be doing a 30k special as soon as I decide exactly what I want to do for it. Um, but uh, yeah, honestly, what a journey it's been. 30k is so awesome. Um, I, I know everybody says this, but I feel like I have the best best viewers, the best fans, and, um, yeah, thanks for being a part of my crew. This is your captain. It looks good from up here. Signing off.
first we gotta make some bread. This pickaxe should last us a while longer, even though it's almost empty. Okay, so we pretty much need iron, gold, and diamonds if we're gonna be honest with ourselves. Um, which we are going to be. Oops. Oh, dang it, I messed it up already. Okay. Hey, we got some gold. Still, though, quite the odd coincidence that we would dig straight into a different cave we've been into. Our uh, pickaxe hasn't budged at all for how much health it has left.
Yeah. 
but 
I'm actually scared about it because I really don't know. I've never fought it before. Um, so it, it, I might just get wrecked, but I'm, I've been doing lots of reading about like what you should have. And there's very intensive guides out there, so I'm making sure. I'm checking off my list of what we need for the fight. And uh, that's actually what we're going to do now is we're going to go make some potions. Depending on what we have, I need to go look. Alright, there's our lighthouse and bridge we have made. So the big potions that we need are slow fall potions and um, strength potions. Um, and we've already made a lot of strength potions, but we need a couple more slow fall ones.
damage to
speaking and welcome to Minecraft Monday, episode 25. We are trucking along. Our goal at this point is to slay that Ender Dragon, and we are making the steps uh, on our way to do that. So, last week we, we worked on our farm, was that last week? Yeah, we worked on our farm. Um, we enchanted some stuff, and we um, hunted Endermen. We got an amount of what you call it, ender pearls. I think we've got nine now, so you know we're we're gonna need more, but we're we have a decent amount so far. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna do today is just get a ton of XP, and I'm probably going to skip over you guys having to watch this because I'm just gonna go mine nether quartz for like half an hour. So for your sanity. That. In fact, I should. Um, I guess I can make sticks like this. Um, I just every time I look at like what I need to be doing and like different enchantments, I'm like, I just don't have enough XP. Like, I will make it to like 30 or 35, and then we'll immediately use it down to like level 20. So we're gonna start off by getting XP. Um, so. think like oh that's probably enough but this is gonna be like three enchantments <laughs> it's gonna be like maybe five enchantments you know and I to say we're actually gonna get what we want out of those five okay pickaxe broke um let's get the heck out of here okay we can't just Falling or whatever the boots are. 
plus three, power one. Feather falling. Feather falling one. Let's put this guy back in, see what we have now. Thorns two. Let's do thorns two. Ooh, though. I mean, thorns two. of slow falling. We're going to do that today. I haven't slept in a while, so those uh, phantom bat boys are going to be after me big time. So we'll go for some of those. Try to make like a couple more of these, maybe three or four more potions like that. We have sharpness three sitting here for when we need to make a sword. I might add this onto this, although I don't know if I can do that. The whole enchantment thing in Minecraft is still
buddy boy. I forgot about how we expanded this farm over here. We got we got a lot more wheat over here. Might as well while we're uh, while we're doing this. Oh oh hello. No, go back. Hello, good sir. upstairs and grab our awkward potions. So awkward, am I right? Let's just make two, honestly. And let's make three. Because we can make three at one time. I think we have blaze powders down there. Yep. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Boopity boop. Also going to go and hunt down more. Um, we're going to do some more mining today too because we just can't get enough. Oh wow, look, it's done. But not really. We gotta we gotta boost these boys. Oops. Wait. Oops. There we go. A minute. strip mine going on here. Uh-oh. 
you stay right there. Um, we're going to keep at this. Actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to dig this way because there's lava to the left. We discovered that last time. Also, that creeper is making me feel scared. that at some point during the enchanting we should have done um, fortune on our pick axe, but it just it's just so tedious to get the enchantments you want already, that finding one like that okay, let's go like this way I don't know it's just, I don't know, I working out. 
let's go. I say we just go. Oh, we really didn't go very far on some of these. Okay. Yeah, that's not very far. I mean, what's to stop you from literally just going in a straight line? I guess, like, It's weird looking up stuff for this game. I don't know why. Well, I kind of know why, but like it's weird that PlayStation 4 is like its own version of the game. Like there's the Bedrock Edition, like the Xbox Edition. Then that's like PlayStation got its own edition. And I think that's just really annoying that they don't want to be on the same version of everyone else. Classic Sony. It's weird, like, looking stuff up for this game, like, oh, how do you do this, or how do you do that, and you have to, like, clarify, like, hey, uh, what are the best ways to farm XP for us PS4 players? And a lot of time, people will be like, oh, yeah, you just do this, and then people will be like, wait, no, that's actually only for Bedrock Edition, that doesn't actually work in PS4 Edition, I'm like, but why? Why they gotta play me like this, you know? It's just life. In hindsight, I maybe should have started this series on PC, but um, it's just easier to record, and I already knew how it worked on PS4, so I started on here, but 25 episodes later, I'm like, you know what, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to do this series on PC. Which reminds me, while we're just mindlessly mining here, I mentioned in my 30k stream that I am building a computer and I'm going to do a video on my build and that kind of stuff and the reason why I have not done that yet is because I've been having some serious technical difficulties with the computer uh, I've been unable to get it to actually work so it's all put together properly but I can't get it to actually boot up properly and display can't get it to post so um, hundreds of hours, okay, not really hundreds of hours of Googling, but many hours have been spent Googling and asking people and, you know, everything I could possibly think of, um, and to no avail. Uh, so I think we just reached a point where no amount of Googling or YouTube videos are going to be able to fix it, so I either need to take it in or just give up. So I think I'm going to take it in uh, to a professional, see if they can figure out what's going on. PC, but for anyone wondering why uh, you haven't heard anything about this PC I'm building, it's because it's broken. Or I'm just dumb and did it wrong. But 
honestly. I don't think so. Dang, we don't have any coal after all that. Alright, back we go. Well, we didn't find any gold or diamonds. And I'm already bored on there's some coal. surprised it's actually this far. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. The pickaxe is going to break. Okay, three, four, five, six. Six. All right. Okay, good. I was about to be mad that we were going to get all the way through without any diamonds. I mean, or gold. It was like, at least give us some of like, it's nice to get more iron, but really I don't need more iron. Hey, okay, there we are. Home free. Um, also, it's weird that our pickaxe has not yet broken. Let's break it, shall we? Uh oh, yikes. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. my hand. Alright, diamond pickaxe. You have been a good one. You have fought valiantly against the rocks. We thank you for your time. But it is time for us to part ways so that you can be replaced by a newer, younger Okay, now you're making this awkward, okay? I already said my goodbyes. Okay. Unbreaking 3 is quite literal. Alright, you're starting to make me mad, Mr. Pickaxe.
Let's see if we can get something good on our helmet. Protection, four. Um, protection, two. No. No, 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 no. Ah, I feel like we should just do it, though. Okay, let's enchant.
obsessed with my bread, so let's go ahead and just take and replant our wheat and add to our nice bread collection. Okay. Oh, we've got way too much iron on us right now. We got all that. Uh, where's your leader? super overboard with these towers that are literally just for looks like from our home. All I care about is just improving that view. Okay, what? Why was that a thing? Ah, home sweet home. Okay, well. Well, um, this is in the
Let's go.
see anything. God, I can't see anything. Okay, um, I think we'll leave the, this here. I would say we'll put some torches out, but we don't have any coal on us, so we're not going to get rid of you. Alright, that actually looks cool. Let's see how it looks from the outside. I have decided, oh wait, we can make a door. Um, I have decided that we are not going to do both towers today. We're just going to do one because that is, that's too much time <laughs> because we still have two other things we're going to do today. Um, so. With it, but we also haven't really seen it yet. Can I do it from here? Nope. Can I do it from here? Nope. Can I do it from here? Yes. Okay, let's go home. Let's unpack our stuff. Let's take a look at our watchtower. And let's go to the nether. Okay, watchtower.
gave us four. It's, yeah, he gave us all four. I think that's the most you can possibly get with looting three. Heck yeah. Okay, well, in that case, we have nine of all, that's ten, ten. We got nineteen. We need twelve for the inner portals we have. Seven excess beyond the ones we need for the portal itself. I think that honestly will be fine. I think we can find the stronghold with seven. I don't think we need to hunt any more endermen. I think we can just go home. And I actually just saw sails. Yeah, we made it. Dang, we went. Which way did we start from? We went that way. We did like a huge loop to come back around here. Alright, well, I'll take it. We finished off all of our bread during that outing, so...
myself and a bunch of other people and just the statistics of it all kind of show that it's about time for this series to end and uh, it, it shall very soon. Luckily the Ender Dragon will be our our end. Um, it feels kind of sad, you know, to end a series after so much time, but I think this series shouldn't just go on forever, you know? So, okay, so let's put this tower, like, here. Let's see, it's one, it's seven wide. So, we need to clear. I guess we should flatten this out. Um, or should we? I don't know, let's focus on the tree. I was being 
pretty unfair to those clouds. Okay. Now we want planks, right? We will need more um, dark oak. fancy business. My only regret is I'm making these towers a little bit taller. Now I technically can make this one a little bit taller, but I want them to be the same, so if one is not tall enough, they both have to be not tall enough. Okay, grab a table up here. Um, we need to make some regular fences.
I'd spend this much time in Minecraft at the age of 25. Ah, uh, what a run. Oh, whoops. I'm planting my sweet berries. Okay. Alright, that's just gonna have to do it. I'm getting it. So we need to put planks and stuff on top. Okay, what do we got? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I think it's going to look really cool, having both towers like that. So now we did, um, oh, I guess we already had some. Now we did the next layer inward of stone bricks.
jump question mark.
stuff in the stronghold, or is it just gonna like be an ender portal? I'm assuming there's more in there than just the portal. Okay, why are my wolves now showing up? This happened last time. Okay, it's probably a good time to use our next one, huh? Let's get out in the open. There it is. Okay, so we have a very distinct straight on. Okay, looks like we're scaling another mountain. But this one's got vines. Shoot, well now I don't know exactly when to use the next one. Although, we were at like probably a 45 degree angle. We walked for a while and now we're at well now we're at a distinctly straight line angle, which means we must be close for how much the direction shift and we much must be very close. So I'm kinda tempted to just use another one like now. This was like a straight angle, it's probably here at this point. Okay, we've, we've had good luck there both. They both made it. Okay, here we go. shifted again. Remember, it was straight on, but this time it curved to the right, which means it's honestly probably right around. Okay, not now, wolf. Maybe it's under here. Oh, we've passed it. Guys, it's right here somewhere. I'm going to say it's like here. Like it's literally just in here. Yeah, because we have to dig through sand. How far down are these usually? Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I guess we really don't know what's in here yet. Maybe we should go find like the exact spot. I've never done this before, all right, guys. <laughs> case we can we can make one more if we needed to but okay well the 
this is not going awesome, but it's not going bad, you know. My wolf keeps pushing me off. Oh, that's a that's a thing. That's a stone brick. I was like just about to say like. I am happy our wolves came with us because I don't feel so scared and or alone. Okay. This place is just an actual maze, isn't it? Oh boy. Okay. Backtracking. Like I've looked everywhere now. Okay, no, maybe not this way. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, what's this above me? The library. What the heck is that?
we're supposed to. Oh, frick, that's why. There's boys in here. There's. Uh, oh, this is it. Okay, how many people are going to be mad? Oh, you should have made an XP spawn. Should have made an XP whatever. XP farm out of that, but no. Okay, first things first. Let's freaking fill in this lava because I am not messing around.
stock up enough snow to make five snowmen. super disorganized and we're almost ready to go. We need our golden apples and our seven steak. Okay, let's put, um, we're not going to need torches or our axe or our shovel. Let's take these. Let's put one of each of these. Yikes, this is tough. Okay, we'll actually not. We'll put this and this in here like that. Apple's a good idea. We can always like move stuff around once we're in there. It's like it's gonna be constant um, chaos. But I don't know. I just make sure I do this the proper way the first time. I don't. I don't want to die on this thing. Um, okay, let's do it. Am I forgetting anything? A uh, bucket of water. Yeah, because I actually should. I should check my uh, checklist. Let's go, I guess. We're just gonna kind of... I've been told this really isn't that hard. I think that the internet made it sound a lot harder than it actually is. Because the first guide I looked up was like, you're gonna need, like, you know, maximum enchanted diamond armor, and you're gonna need a full stack of this and a full stack of that. Uh, let's actually bring a full stack of... Let's bring two full stacks of cobblestone. That was something in there that I don't think we'll need, but why not? We got space. Okay, let's do it. Um, yeah, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go. All right, let's freaking do this thing. So last time we found the portal, we already made the portal for anyone just joining us. Although if you're just joining us, what are you doing? Go back and watch the rest of it. Go back and watch the other 15 hours of this before you can watch this. Um, but we made, um, we found the portal activated it after many episodes of hunting Enderman and uh, slowly working on that we found it 
so yay for us, and we activated the portal, and it's all ready to go, we put a little, uh, little marker on it so we can find it again, I kind of remember where it is, which is good, um, and then yeah, I, I built a little staircase all the way from the surface down to the uh, portal itself, so once we see our little marker, it's a straight shot, and then boom, we make it. And then boom, we uh, find the portal. So, uh, basically what I know of the fight is, hey, you gotta break all the crystals or whatever to stop the dragon from healing, and then you kill the dragon. And there's a lot of endermen around um, that shouldn't bother us, I don't think, unless we look at them, or maybe they attack you once you start fighting the dragon, I don't know. But that's what our snowmen are for, even though we're only gonna have six of them, it should at least alleviate some of the pressure on us, so, so that's good news. Okay, we're actually close. I recognize this place there, did I? There, see our little, little tower of sand. That is it. So, we are going to, I'm gonna see if I can do most of this with just the trident, because you can throw it, and it's got loyalty, so it comes back to me, um, which is OP you ask me. So we basically can just chuck it at the um, crystals and it'll come right back. Although we might just want to use our bow for that part because what's the difference? But the important thing is that we can, we can, as long as we can line up our shots, we should be able to break all the crystals from the ground level. But if we do have to go up for any reason, um, we will, we have our stacks of cobblestone and we have our slow falling potions and I think we do have to go up for the, uh, the last one, just one that's in a cage and we have our pickaxe for that. So where is this thing? Here. All right. <laughs> last episode, we just spent so much time. fight before. That's why I feel like such a noob going into this. Um, but I feel confident. I feel like we've, I feel like we're as prepared as you ever could be expected to be. So I feel good about it. I don't think, I, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. It's just that I really don't want to mess it up on the, you know, I really don't want to mess it up. I really want to get that W on the first go. So, but for the most part, I really don't know what to expect. Let's I guess we can go in there first, and then we'll drink our potions. Whew, guys. Okay. Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay, this is where, um, this is where you come in. Actually, no, let's not do that. If we can, if we can swing it. I'd like to not have to use anything we don't have to use.
snakes. Oh, I was standing in the thing. Okay. Yeah, this is this is so far not going super hot. Should we uh should we uh, get some get some friends in here? Okay, I need to hit this thing.
faster to just do melee damage to him, so next time he lands. Although he really... Ooh, did you see that shot? I'm scared to, like, stand still for too long, because he definitely... Also, my snowmen are useless. What gives? I'm assuming if you actually look at an Enderman, these are attacking you, the snowman would help, but I guess since I haven't triggered the Enderman, the snowman have nothing to do. Okay, should we get into melee range? Oh, frick. Nope. sources saying like, hey, bring a bed. Although that reminds me of when everyone told PewDiePie to bring a bed and sleep in the nether because he'd get a secret achievement and he went and did it and it just blows up and kills you. So maybe I got trolled hardcore. All right, guys. All this time, Mr. Ender Dragon, he ain't nothing for us. Watch this throw. Slightly, slightly cooler than a regular throw. Man, this thing does so much damage. Ready for this? Ah! Take that, you big piece of trash. Oh, I forgot how much XP you get from this. Oh no, it's all gonna fall in the portal. I need this XP. Oh my gosh. 30 levels. Hallelujah. Okay, so now this thing spawns. Let's drink a slow falling potion so I do not die here. Okay, up and up and up and up and up and up. Actually, this is really a great idea because we don't get to... things that were like suggested to use but the fight really was not that hard um we shot all the it was just that last crystal that kind of gave us a hard time because as soon as we got like lined up to break it you would always blow us up right can you kill these guys with a sword okay yeah you can okay cool oh and they drop themselves or shulker shells i don't know
So now I guess my question is, and I'm not saying I'm going to, but my question now, or something I'm going to look into, is how hard is the uh, wither to fight? Is that something I can reasonably do without too much trouble? Oh no, 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 no. Or is that going to be like a long investment of more steps? Because from what I know about the wither fight, it's not really a fight that you just do. I think it's one that you like. You know, it's not like a one-on-one -on -one fight. It seems like you kind of need to have like an army for that one. Okay, so we are flying away, friends. Oh, 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 I like these. Okay. Collect all the poles. That's the real endgame loot I'm looking for. Yikes. up here.
perhaps that I was like, I'll do a survival series. And then I was like, we'll do some survival videos. And um, here we have Minecraft Monday turned into a big series. And we're now episode 28. Uh, I played it all the way through. I've never put so much time into a single Minecraft world as I have this one, probably. Um, so thank you guys for that, for giving me a reason to actually experience Minecraft. Uh, I feel like in its fullest capacity. Um, you know, I had lots of people give me tips and tricks and things that I never would have known otherwise. How to improve and, you know, little things that I just didn't know about the game, small details. And, you know, it, it helped me kind of experience Minecraft deeper than I had in the past. And I don't think I ever would have attempted the Ender Dragon if I didn't have so many people helping me learn the game better and, you know, I know I, I would get comments sometimes, people being like, wow, this guy doesn't know anything about Minecraft, why would he watch this, you know, noob play it, and um, obviously I, I largely discard those, those comments, but, you know, that is a place a lot of people could have watched me from, but I feel like the majority, the vast majority of you guys uh, liked that I didn't really know everything about the game. I was just like a guy playing Minecraft, and it was more of a community thing where you guys helped me, and I... I played and it felt like, you know, some episodes I'd be like, hey, someone told me that you can actually do this this way, and, you know, thanks to that person, it was kind of a back and forth, rather than you guys just watching me, it was, it felt like we were playing it together, and, um, I didn't have to sit on my phone and Google a bunch of stuff, I just kind of learned things one at a time, uh, from you guys, from little things that I didn't know, so I wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for that, for being supportive of a Minecraft series of a guy that doesn't really know that much about Minecraft. And here we are, we beat the Ender Dragon, and you know what? It was actually pretty easy, because you know what? We knew what we were doing, I was prepared. Um, yeah, so, thank you guys for being on this journey. Minecraft isn't over for this channel. Um, I'm not done playing Minecraft. I still very much enjoy it, I still think it works very well. For, um, for ASMR which means, you know, we can't abandon our world. What are you doing up here? I leave for a few. You thought I was dead, didn't you? You had no faith that I was going to come back. You just moved in. Um, we've put so much work in this world, I don't want it to just, you know, disappear forever. But Minecraft Monday is going to come to an end. Not yet. I'm not going to end it yet. I need to look into what the Dragon Egg is for. Uh, maybe explore the end city a little bit more. Then in one more episode, are we kind of like go around our world and look at everything we've done, that kind of stuff. So we are coming to a close on Minecraft Money, but it's not over yet. Um, and then even beyond that, um, I might do more videos down the line of this world. I have my creative series that I've been neglecting um, because I've been not wanting to put out two Minecraft videos every week. So with Minecraft Monday every week, it's like, well, I can't put out another Minecraft video that week because that's two in a week. That's just too many for people that are into Minecraft. So, so Minecraft videos are not over. The Minecraft Monday thing is slowly coming to a close. So thank you so much for being part of this journey. It's been a world of fun. And uh, I look forward to more adventures with you guys. Whether it be on this world, or on our creative world, or on... Who knows what else we can do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your captain, signing off. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. This is your captain speaking. Soft and speaking. And welcome to Minecraft Monday, episode 29. I told you it wasn't over. Let's start this episode off by... Uh, this guy to death because he sells trash. Oh, hey, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I thought maybe we could be friends. I'm sorry you guys had to see this, but they were trespassing, you see. Um, okay. So, last thing we did, last episode, we killed the Ender Dragon, and we have just a mess of an inventory, so we're gonna kind of start by going through everything we got. Um, putting it in its rightful place and just kind of feeling good about ourselves and what we've done. Uh, so let's put our armor away. We got um, protection 3, mending, aqua affinity, fire protection. Res I'm going to hold on to that actually because uh, something else I want to do is um, one of those underwater fortresses or their sword. Uh, 
that's for sure. Um, yeah. Because we just need one end pearl so we can get in and get out. I really want to go there today. I think that's, that makes a lot of sense to me to do today. Okay, let's freaking
dragon head I missed. Oopsie daisy. I wish that I could fly up there with my wings, but, but no. Alright, although we do have, um, do I even have arrows while I have this on me? Also, did we bring my silk touch? Yeah, we did. Because last, last time I was here, I broke an ender chest with a non-silk touch pickaxe. It was a big oof. Of course, I got the obsidian for it. So there's nothing up here. Um, I think that we have everything then. This is the only spot I don't think we've been. I think the last place we need to go is the ship, which luckily for us should be pretty easy to do as long as we don't. Oof. Okay. Okay. Yikes. I might just not know how to use that properly or something, but okay, we don't need to go down here. We take everything already. Yeah, for the most part. That's good enough for me. Okay, let's get the dragon head. Can we just grab it like this? Do I dare take that chance? I'm going to not take that chance because I imagine if it fell into the dark abyss, that would just be something I could never forgive myself for. out there, I don't 
see them slash I have no idea how you would get to them but I do like the idea of there being more islands because that means more wings and more loot also that almost feels like there's an island like below us doesn't it maybe that's the meaning it's a vertical
that save. We did it from the start of the bridge to the other end. Let's go one, two, three. Oh god, not this again. It's so hard to keep track of. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. just work. Okay, boys. Um, yeah. Ow. Yeah, guess what the... Excuse me, sir. No. Bad. Should have brought more food, huh?
we never do on this channel. The easy way out. That's what we don't do here. If we can make something look cooler, frick, I just screwed it up. Okay. <laughs> we always do it the hard way. That's the uh, channel. freaking cloud of all time going by right now. Can I get rid of this? Okay. Before we do the reveal, there's one more thing I want to do. Right here. Well, actually, further than that. Okay. are done passing by now. Okay, so let's go back home and let's not kill ourselves on the way. Okay, you know what? Let's take the ladder on the bridge. No peeking, okay? <sighs> we gotta see this thing together at the same time. Just like go look back at all of our old locations and explore the world we've made or something. It'll be kind of a farewell episode, even if it's not farewell forever. You know, it'll just be kind of a nostalgia series, I guess, or an episode.
wish I could see it not inside of a cloud, but uh, we are not that fortunate. Well, guys, thanks for watching Minecraft Monday. Um, there will be one more next Monday to wrap the series up, and then the following Monday we'll do, well, probably Sunday actually, like I said, um, we'll do the uh, live stream kind of full series. I just want to see it once without being in a cloud. I want to see it full color. Big oof, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks for watching. Take care. Sleep is sweet, my little petunia. This is your captain, Sunny. son. Oops. Where are you gonna go, huh? Who are you gonna call? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't beat me. I will beat to myself with these beats. There you are. Just you step your dirty little feet in my garden one more time and I'll show you. You fiend. Okay. I love the smell of murder in the morning. As I was saying, we've made it through 30 episodes of Minecraft Monday. That is an episode to watch every day of the month. You know, on most of the months. Okay, September, October, November. Frick. Okay, so less than half months. Uh, we're not going to do one more episode just to make it 31, okay? It doesn't matter that much. Um, we've done everything I wanted to do. Um, for anyone that's scared that there's going to be no more Minecraft on this world, or just Minecraft in general. Not true. It's just Minecraft Monday that I'm going to stop doing. It has become extremely taxing on myself to put out a dedicated weekly video. A lot more than I anticipated. I think I have much more respect for people that do weekly series. Um, now, because it's like, oh, you want to go out of town? Um, well, you can't just take work with you and just film on the go. No, you have to be home and you have to record Minecraft Monday and it's tedious to edit and you gotta, you know, it's gotta be quality, you know, so it's been exhausting to do 30 episodes, one a week, so the Monday thing is going away, but Minecraft itself is not going away. Minecraft is just made for ASMR, so you can, you can, uh, come on, which I'm trying to do a monologue right now. Um, you can sleep confidently tonight knowing that there will be more Minecraft, um, including uh, on this world or other worlds or creative mode. We have our creative mode world we haven't played on in a while. That poor world has been neglected. Um, anyway, so this is our last episode of Minecraft Monday. Um, we are going to spend this episode on kind of a journey through time, a kind of throwback, walk around our world and see what we've done. Um, I will mention now at the beginning of the video, so while everyone's still awake and still watching, um, that next week on Sunday, not on Monday, on Sunday through Monday, there will be a live stream here on this channel. If I can figure out how to make it work, uh, which I'm pretty confident I will be able to, but um, live stream on this channel, there will be all 30 episodes in one long live stream where I will be... I can't imagine I'll be there the entire time, because that's going to be an absurd amount of time, but there's going to be a live stream where you can hop in and where you can hop in and watch uh, the episodes as they happen one at a time with anyone else in the chat, and I'll be there for most of the time chatting with you guys, and we can kind of recap and watch the whole series, you know, as it happens. Well, might not interest all of you, but that's going to happen next week, um, Sunday, daytime through Monday, because it's going to probably be a long, a long life.
live stream because that's 30 episodes and they're all like at least half an hour or so. So, I mean, just if they're all 30 minutes, that's 15 hours. And I know that lots of them are more than 30 minutes. So, I'm anticipating close to 20 hours. So, anyway, that's next week. So, uh, Minecraft lovers and Minecraft Monday lovers, you're in luck. Okay, let's go on a little journey here. Let's go to our old watchtower, which we have not been to since we built it. Um, we built this bridge, kind of anticipation of going this way a lot, and we really didn't, we spent so much more time going that way and beyond our castle. We really didn't use this bridge that much. Beyond a good way to get up before we built our better way up. But yeah, here's our uh, watchtower. Or so episodes because this tower isn't awesome. But man, it gives you a nice view, don't it? This is a view we actually haven't really seen is our world from this angle because we just never come over here. So, ah, what a view. That bridge looks nice. We really did get lucky with a nice world. People said that a lot in the early days. Everyone was asking for the world seed. I mean, the entire series. Every episode, people would always ask for the world seed because everyone just liked this world seed so much. Um, it's an amplified world, which the more time went on, the more I was like, hey, is amplified world just a console thing? Because it seemed like a lot of people didn't know what an amplified world was. But amplified world just means that you get it a little more mountainous, a little more vertical than you're you know, used to. so awkwardly rare, or if I had been smart enough to be um, farming them this whole time, it would have been a cute idea to uh, take all the pumpkins that we've collected up until now and made a little Halloween decorations for our home. But uh, I was not blessed with the gift of foresight. Are you kidding me to be hit by another witch from freaking where? just get like sniped from some witch on a mountain somewhere oh was it a fish i don't know enough about this game 30 episodes and i still don't think i know everything anyway up we go i was not blessed with the gift of foresight um i didn't think we'd ever have a use for pumpkins but here we are we actually did have like five or so pumpkins on us but we used them all for the ender dragon fight two episodes ago um for snowmen so, at least the ones we had went to a good cause. Also, these beets are garbage. And I should have cooked them into something instead of just eating them raw. But I'm also lazy. Um, things that we still have look to look forward to on this world are eventually maybe fighting the Wither. Um, we have 64 levels of experience that we need to put to use. Which is a lot. Um, and um, that sort of thing. So spend too much time in the nether doing much more than just farming quartz. Okay, back to exploring. I'm getting sidetracked. Our home. We, on episode one, found this place. We came from this direction, and walking along this hill, I saw this view, and I thought, this is it. Um, we built just a tiny little square house. I think all it was was, I want to say it started here. I think it was just this room. So this was the end of it. This was the entrance. Um, and the stairs went up. And there was just the top. And it was just a square of wood. That was our original home. And um, then we ended up making a hallway in another room here. A couple episodes later. And eventually I thought, you know what? I should just, instead of making it a hallway, actually open it up into kind of two closets, if you will, um, for storage space. Which we just used for block storage. this room a little bit. After we found the mansion, we brought a bunch of red carpet back. People made fun of me for being excited about finding a red carpet in the mansion, but they expect me to make that myself. I'm not going to make that myself. So I found a bunch of red carpet, put it down, furnished this area a little bit. And honestly, I don't know what episode it was that we tamed 95 wolves, or however many there are. It just seems like everywhere I go and everywhere I look, there are more wolves. I don't remember, I remember taming a few, but I just feel like there's like 
twice as many as I remember taking. Anyway, um, also in the early episodes, we made a quick little basement, um, which was just a room with the nether portal, which we made pretty early on because we found diamonds in like episode two or three, and then we found um, obsidian in the following episode. So we made a little nether portal. This downstairs one was literally just this. It was just stairs and then the portal. That was it. We eventually dug this out and made a nice uh, pathway down to the ground level, the lower level, the sea level. This balcony came a lot later and was a nice addition because uh, it was such a gorgeous world. You need lots of ways to look at it and look a wolf. Some episodes later, we made this secret door because I had recently remembered how to make it and um, I was like, we gotta find a use for it. So we made this secret lab, which got little to no use beyond these blast furnaces. Um, we actually had something else here that I destroyed like a fool um, last episode um, for the sake of putting a dragon egg in here and then I realized that it wouldn't fit how I wanted it to, so we just broke it for no reason. I never used the smokers, never used the stone cutter, and never used the loom. Some episodes later, we ended up expanding at the top of our house. We've actually built this thing to go all the way to the end here at first, and then eventually, uh, episode or two after that, I decided it was too long, we didn't need it to be that much space, and it would look better as kind of another balcony, as a place to kind of hang out from, which was a good decision, I think. Um, this room feels a reasonable size. We ended up turning it into our storage room, as well as our library enchanting room, as well as our trophy room by the looks of our dragon head here. Um, yeah, we have made good use of it. Uh, a nice little place to hang out and look out over our kingdom here. Um, then many, many episodes after that, we made this minecart track. We made it, I think, the episode after we made the castle as a way to get to the castle. We've used it a handful of times. It's nice for getting around. Um, but I also, I like me some walking, so I'm not too, uh, too reliant on it. Um, okay. Sun's starting to go down, so let's go down. I'll have to fix what I did to my farm earlier. But not until I... I almost skipped over um, this time up here because I don't think we're going to come back up here. Um, we tamed a horse in episode like five or six, put diamond armor on it, and then we locked it away forever because horses are unruly and they smell, so we locked them up. Um, we also made a wheat farm, which we expanded, I think, two different times just to be bigger because we were just never satisfied and everything must be bigger at all times. We made a well when someone pointed out it is a great infinite source of water, which it is. Then we made a sugar cane farm, which uh, isn't very big, but we also never used sugar cane beyond like episode seven or something, or we made a bunch of paper. So it's here if we ever need it, but uh, we don't. Um, we made this bridge maybe 10 episodes ago to get from here to there. It was just kind of a project that didn't necessarily need to happen, but it it was nice because now we have an accessible route to get in every direction. We can go this way by walking. We can get over to those set the mountains from walking. We can get over to those mountains from walking. And we can get that way from walking and that way from walking. And you get the idea. It was the only direction that we really couldn't go easily. So, okay, put those away. Let's actually put these away. Okay. see what else we've done down the tunnel. We made this down tunnel like in episode three or four very early on to get down to the ground. Um, we made this little pathway a couple episodes later. The farm came in pretty early. It was obviously smaller than this and we just had two of each kind of creature or maybe two or three of each kind of animal. Um, oh, do you guys like beets? You do like beets, don't you? Um, yeah, and then we split it into two halves. We 
try to separate the animals by type of animal, but the sheep just do what they want, so we just let them. We just said, all right, but you guys do whatever you want. But the cows and the pigs are in separate pens, and that's fine. I'll allow it. Um, we made this dock mostly for aesthetic purposes, which I do not regret at all. I love this dock. Um, the boat came many episodes later, as well as the glass dome underneath it coming an episode or two after the boat itself. Or no, maybe it was the other way around. I think the dome came first. Yeah, dome came first. We made the dome and then we built the ship above it and we made a little tunnel between. We didn't really use the dome at all, but I just, you go, you always have to build something out of glass underwater in every world. It's just a requirement. You gotta, because it's just cool. The boat was cool. Now what the heck, let's go over there. Look at this poor chicken just waiting. Papa, return to me. Okay, well, let me give you uh, nothing. I thought I could edge another chicken in here, but uh, that's going to be a no. Uh, here we are to the brig. Here's our boat, two furnaces, two chests, and a crafting table. Pretty standard. Nothing in here because we uh, didn't want to store anything this far from home. Um, the bow. And the captain's quarters with a very nice checkered carpet. Good taste, Captain. We've got the up here and the uh, wheel, I suppose. Um, yep, pretty neat. And now to the lighthouse we go. These squid have been pushing my boats away from their parking spots, which just offends me greatly. I've reparked that guy like five times, and eventually I just gave up. Oh well, creeper, do not hurt me. We made the lighthouse some episodes in. It was the single-handed. Well, I don't know, actually. I was going to say it's the worst building project that I did in the entire series, but that's actually... Are you kidding me? Come here, you dirtbag. Come here. Come here. No, I said come here. I'm ready for you. Teleport to me. You don't like when I look at you. Then do something about it. Well. Alright, fine. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying. Sorry, Endermen just make me so mad now. I hate their stupid faces. Okay, uh, what was I saying? Worst building project ever. Um, yeah, it might actually still be the White House. And you might be thinking, why? It looks so simple, such an easy build. Oh yes, the White House itself was very easy, but if you recall, if you go far enough back in the episodes, you'll see that there was actually kind of a mountain where I'm standing, and I had to, block by block, break it down from probably about this high all the way down to this flat level. And it took forever. I don't know what I was thinking, um, but I got, once I was so far into it, I just knew I couldn't stop. I was filming and I had to keep going. So in the video, I edited it down a ton to where it was not that, it was like a minute or two of me doing it, but it was like an hour of just monotonous digging and digging and digging and digging and having to make new tools and digging and digging and digging. Um, anyway, and then I made the, that's why the lighthouse isn't anything spectacular, because I was just so done, I was so over it, that I intended to make probably a cooler lighthouse, but I was just so burnt, so. That's the fun story behind the lighthouse. But, um, overall, it's cool. I like it. It's nice to have somewhere to go, plus it, it works, you know, as much work as it was to flatten the mountain out. I really like how it looks from up above. From up there, having a lighthouse on the mountain, especially with the boat and the dock, it just, it just brings it all together, doesn't it? Um, so, I have no regrets.
nuts, but man, was this a nightmare. Okay, down we go. Where you guys gonna be at this? Don't you hit me, you witch. I'm slowed and I'm poisoned. I should have just flipped it to peaceful mode for this video. Just me being angry at Enderman for half an hour. Okay, um, some episodes later we made this because a lot of people told me I needed to do a strip mine. Um, and I said, sorry, I don't strip on camera, at least not for free. Ah, oh, that's a joke. I've done it for free. Ah, oh, that's another joke. So we made this strip mine, um, which really isn't a strip mine, it was just mines um, in each direction, which we ran into caves on all three, like not even that far out. So it was kind of like, oh, well, that's not what I wanted out of this. So um, I wanted to do it more of like a, what do you call it, like a square, um, like a grid. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, and a lot of people pointed out that if I want to find diamonds, you have to go further in depth to like whatever it is, why, why something, um, which was this bedrock is only like a few blocks below me right here. So we went down here and we began our strip mining process, which we did a lot of, um, did a lot of that. Um, we found some diamonds. Okay, what happened? Oh, sorry, we found like lava or something. There we go. Um, yeah, we did a lot of that. Um, but it being a kind of more for the entertainment sake Minecraft series, we didn't do as much of this as you, I would normally do in my own world. I just didn't want to have entire episodes where all I did was strip mine, and I also didn't want to strip mine for several hours and not put it into video, but then be like, hey, I know I didn't show you this, but I actually mined 25 diamonds off camera. That just feels kind of cheap for this series. This was a very, like... This is a very, like, you get to see it all kind of series. You know, obviously I edited things down just for time's sake so you guys wouldn't get bored, but I wanted you to be out there with me for the journey, so anything super time-consuming, um, I would usually just try to avoid doing much of because I wanted it to be entertaining and fun, which I know I had fun, did you? So, anyway, that was our cave here. Okay, so let's go to castle now, shall we? Let's actually take the minecart track there, since uh, this is a good opportunity to use it. Okay, here we go. And off we go. Nope, here we go. It like stopped for a second.
upwards. Okay, up we go. I like how this turned out, this little uh, mountainside pathway. Um, this, it looks cool while you're in it, and it looks cool when you look at it from far away. You got this kind of, uh, reminds me of like, like the like uh like I'm a Lord of the Rings guy, so this seems like a kind of a dwarven uh, little mountainous pathway that they just carved right into the mountain. So at the top here, we made this tower first, um, and then we made a bridge. I think in the same episode, I want to say it's the same episode. We made this tower um, to be kind of off in the distance view from our home, which it was. Our home just looks ugly from the outside, but that's just part of it, you know? It's very functional. Maybe we'll give it a makeover one of these days. Um, but here's our tower. We've got a crafting table. We probably could use a chest over here, but I don't know what we'd put in it. Maybe arrows and a bow. It'd be kind of an archer, ranger, watchtower. Then we have our bridge here, with which you can get across this chasm of death to another identical tower on the other side. It is literally identical other than the ladder being in a different spot and um, us going cheap and using all planks instead of logs like on the other one. These were made like this pretty much to be seen from far away. They look great from the house looking out over the valley and seeing two identical watchtowers on the distance where the sun rises is just magical. So good use of time. I like how the towers turned out. Um, yeah. And then, the last thing we did, which was last episode, um, one week ago. Can I jump down there? I always forget. We're gonna take a chance. Oh, shoot. Take a chance on me. Okay, we made it. Um, we went and we built that sign, Minecraft Monday. Could not see it last episode because the clouds were just relentless. They were just not going to let us have a sight of our sign. So, you guys got to see it at the beginning of this episode, but uh, here's another view of it. Freaking clouds, man. But I thought that was a nice way to kind of tie it all together is actually put a sign and kind of, you know, it felt like signing a painting, you know, like writing your name on it to show that you did it. Of course, that's not my name. I could have written Captain ASMR over there, but this isn't my world. This is our world. So it is Minecraft Monday. We did all of this that you see before us in Minecraft Monday. And what a what a wonderful journey it's been. I talked a lot in my last two episodes about like kind of thanking you guys for being you know supportive of the series and all that. So I'm not going to do it again um, as much as I want to give a thorough thinking for you guys, but go watch the end of the Ender Dragon. Go watch after the Ender Dragon fight is when I really say everything that I felt about the series. But of course I do want to say again anyway, you know, thank you to everyone that supported the series and enjoyed it and helped me out and gave me tips about this or that because I, I didn't start this series as much of a Minecraft expert. It, it was kind of a game I hadn't played in a long time and there was a lot of new stuff and things I just never knew about the game, so people were very helpful helped me make this world so thank you guys i hope that you enjoyed these 30 episodes as i said next week we will be playing all of them in a row in a live stream a pre-recorded live stream so while it's happening hop in say hi you know let me know what your favorite part of it was or you know be there for your favorite part of it because there's going to be everything that's happened on the series including this Right now, this is going to be the end of that live stream, so I guess I should say something about that, huh? Hey, thanks to everyone for watching the live stream. That feels weird. Um, yeah, so this will be the live stream as well. Or will it? Um, yeah, so check out the live stream. If you see it, uh, I'll be there chit-chatting with all y'all. So, yeah, what a journey it's been. Minecraft is not over. Minecraft Monday, however, is so next Monday. Okay, next, next Monday, because next week's the stream. But the next, next Monday is going to be just whatever I want to post, not Minecraft. Maybe what I want to post will be Minecraft, but you never know. Because now, I'm not tied to any weekly things, which is 
just exciting for me because now I can post Minecraft when I want to or I have an idea or I have something I want to do. I think that's the big thing is it felt like I had to force it after a while where there was times when I was like, shoot, Minecraft Monday's tomorrow. I've been busy all week. I haven't filmed it yet. And I would sit down with no idea what the next episode was going to be about. And I'd have to just go watch the last one and flip through it and find like, okay, well, what's next on our agenda? And I'd just sometimes... Sometimes I would just make something up, you know, because I had to force it. There was no option. And, you know, I never missed a Minecraft Monday. Uh, you know, but that doesn't mean every episode was as good as it could have been because some of them were kind of last minute or forced or whatever. So hopefully now that, you know, I'm not tied to a specific day, now I can make things when they're ready to be made or when I have a good idea. So I hope you guys understand. I'm sure most of you do. and That hopefully makes good sense to most any reasonable person. so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my silly channel. I love you all. You are wonderful. Um, hopefully the next week's live stream will be a hit. And if not, it should be fun just to chat with anyone that pops in the chat anyway. So um, I'm excited to have that go. I obviously will be sleeping at some point during the stream, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for anyone watching this episode, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Anyone in the live stream, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And to everyone that's not watching this, what's wrong with you? How are you hearing my voice right now without watching this? It makes no sense. Good night, guys. I'll see you.